Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. We're you here. mean the live stream. You actually hear me now? I, I turned the mic on for the first time. You're going to put the channel up so that I can see people oh, talking to us? <laughs> right here. Oh, there hey, we there we go. All right. You guys hear us all right? Oh, Sawyer's already talking to me. He said he was wearing his birthday suit just like <laughs> you should be. Just like I should be? Later. Nice. All right. <laughs> hi from the Philippines. Hi from Brazil. Arkansas. Texas. Starfield. England. New York. Canada. Eagles country. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Philippines, Texas, England, Brazil, Niagara Falls, Germany, another England. Awesome. How North is England. everyone tonight? South Texas, Arkansas. Is this going to be like the greatest night ever? Probably. Arizona, Wisconsin, Illinois, Louisiana, Dallas, Georgia. We were just watching the Dallas game. I'm going to name every state. Oh my goodness. We've got fans from all over. Actually, I was thinking about that. Long so we, we got that Arizona there. magnet last time. I would love to get a magnet from every state. We Where would we put them? We've got plenty of metal. Just cover all of your... Just cover all the posters. Cover all your posters with magnets. Love it. And it doesn't even have to be a state if you want to send us to Hooterville, international logo. Or Norway, flag as Argentina. Well. Oh my gosh, you guys are from all over. I love it. Sawyer is here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. What's your Sawyer nickname? I don't know. Forgot what, what was the one that we really liked? I can't remember right now. Doesn't matter. What's everyone up to tonight? Just hanging out with us? Or you got other big plans? Or you already your plans are over and you're just hanging out to finish your night? Sean, welcome to um, join the membership. You mean the movies? Thanks, Sean. Woo! Did I lose sleep after watching The Exorcist? No, I didn't actually, which I'm actually really surprised because I, I get nightmares pretty bad, so I didn't happen to have any nightmares. You really didn't think Exorcist was that scary. It was more disturbing than scary, I guess. The ones that give me jump scares, the ones that give me that adrenaline rush, are the ones that I think are... The ones that give me the nightmares, too. But. Drinking Count Crown Royal and Coke. Good mm. choice. Almost good as Crown Royal and RC Cola. Oh, almost. Yeah. The Royal Flush. Awesome. Chill and drink, laying in bed with the wife. Oh, Jason, your wife must be awesome. Were you torn over watching the director's cut of extras? Yeah, um... Since that was the latest version released in theaters, I think I remember. That's why we watched that one. What's the scariest movie we saw? All right, so far, the one that's given me the most, like, jump scare scares is The Descent. The Descent. Yeah, The Descent, for sure. About the last jump scare in Prince of Darkness, Patrick. <laughs> Prince of Darkness was weird. <laughs> and, yeah, it was good. That yeah, last jump scare it when he rolls over good. the bed. <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> The weird movie, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Moxley, thank you for a one dollar super chat. You don't think Hellraiser is going to scare me much? Well, that's good because I don't. I'm not really excited about watching it. So, I think that's more gory than like jump scares. Have we seen Children of Men? No, but I think it's on I the have. list. Okay, it's on I the have list. I haven't seen lots of scary movies though. Are you relieved not to react to the Friday the 13th TV series or Freddy's Nightmare TV series? Yeah, super relieved. Well, the, I... the Friday the 13th TV series has nothing to do with the movies. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just produced by the same, like, studio, and they threw the name to mm. for hoping people would watch it, thinking Jason would show up. Howdy from Kentucky, dying to know your names. Until then, it's Stephen and Mandy. <laughs> that works. Stephen and Mandy's fine. <laughs> Usually just go by Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. We have, uh, one of our Patreon users calls us Mrs. Gennaro and Roy from Die Hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hellraiser will freak you out. Are the jorts back? They sure are. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Racking the joints. Wearing the joints. Every live stream. I'm I'm wearing this super awesome Back to the Future shirt, you guys, from Fright Rags. Yeah. Do I get something? Yeah, hair. I got bots of hairs, hairs, dog hairs all over. Actually, just a f free plug for Fright Rags. They're having a twenty five percent off sale on their website right now. So if you guys want some cool shirts, check it out. Their shirts are pretty awesome. Fright nice and soft too. Com or dot com. Have you ever seen Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album with the Exorcist movie before? I thought no? you did that with the uh, Wizard of Oz. Does it go with Exorcist too? That's the original cut? Alonzo, we have seen Twin Peaks already, so we probably won't be watching that on the channel. Um, we already binged, binged it, well, I guess, I don't know, it was a few years back. But yeah. a couple when years the new ago. season came out, we binged it right before that. Mm-hmm. Back to the Future does rule. Best movie in the world. Happy birthday, Mrs. Gennaro. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. <laughs> I was just talking about it. That's Doug. He calls Mr. Mr. Gennaro. Did you guys watch any of the Fear Street movies on we Netflix? Ha we haven't, but I want to. Okay. Um, I don't know what they're about. It's based on R.L. Stein books. Guy oh yeah, Goosebumps. yeah. I wouldn't ever more, read Goosebumps because it's I was more afraid. His, uh, older crap books. I want to watch Fear Street, but at the same time, I don't. It's probably like the same reason we're holding off on Scream. It's because I feel like they're both meta, scary movies, and they reference a lot of other scary movies in them. And I want to. I feel like we need to watch those before, so that she gets the meta references. Meta. Darkness Falls. Watch it. Isn't that a cartoon? Galaxy of Terror? Shaved head under that cowboy hat, Bubba? Oh, yeah. He's mostly just bald. He's mostly bald. <laughs> she cut my hair yesterday. I, I just What's trimmed the backside. Uh, the host? To keep it even. Uh, the Korean film, Irk? I've seen it. She hasn't. It's on her list. It's one of my favorites. Was it my 22nd birthday? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, how did you know? It's been her 22nd birthday for like 10 years. How old am I? 33, right? Is that right? I don't know. George, talk about jump scares. <laughs> I think I'm 33. Something like that. Yeah. How old are you? 37. All right, I'm probably 33. <laughs> Have you seen Boogie Nights? Um, is that the one with Marky Mark? Yes. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> I had to inform her that that was a prosthetic, though. So. Yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> Old pre 1970s movies, like John Wayne movies, because I love John Wayne. We probably won't react to any of them though, because I've seen most of them. There's a lot of John Wayne movies, too. I should go back to his star movies. I just watched, um... Crap, no, it's, no I'm not going to be able to remember it. The start of the P? No, it's one of his non-Western movies. A John Wayne movie. Oh, John Wayne's? Yep, nope. It'll come to me later. Horror fan tip, watch Scream before Fear Street. Yeah, we might not get to Fear Street. Well, it's hot and fresh in everybody's minds. Wicker Man? The original or the uh, Nicolas Cage one? Not the bees! Have I seen Smokey? I have absolutely seen Smokey and the Bandit. I love Smokey and the Bandit. Burt Reynolds is beautiful. We will definitely be watching Tucker and Dale vs. Evil as well. Alright. That's a good one. Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood. Nice. We do, Pentagramma. We Alfred do Hitchcock. Collection. Are we going to do any Hitchcock? Yeah, uh, Psycho. Oh, yeah, Psycho. Okay. I have seen The Birds. That one gave me nightmares as a child. My father did that to me. Thanks, Dad. Have you ever seen Vertigo? I don't think so. You've seen Rear Window. We've watched that in the last couple of years, too. The, the, the guy one in the, the apartment? The apartment, and he's yeah. looking out the back at the rear window, watching the guy murder the guy, lady across the... Yep. Um, what about North by Northwest? That's actually one of my favorites. It's 
the famous plane scenes in that one. Does that have um, James Dean in it? No. It has a... Uh, oh, what's his name? No, we haven't done the peel box stuff. We're going to get to that pretty yeah, so right soon. Behind We're going to let everybody roll in here first before we start it. Uh, about two more minutes. We'll We've seen roll. No Country for Old Men. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. Good classic uh, modern day western. Disturbia. Is that the one with Shia LaBeouf? Disturbia? Yeah, Disturbia. I think that's the show. I think you that's made the me... remake of Rear Window. You made me watch Disturbia. Modern, it's like a modern Rear Window, right? Yeah. Stigmata. Cary Grant, that's right. So North by Northwest is Cary Grant. Oh, I like Cary Grant. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. <laughs> That'd be fun to go through some Abbott and Costello movies that with would classic core mashups. Am I enjoying Lost so far? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I It took me she a while to get it. into it. You love it. As she said recently. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. You love it. Um, I It took me a while to, like get into it it's good there's a, so many characters though it's a little bit Howdy. hard to get i mean as you know i it's hard to please everybody with my opinions on some of the characters so far i'm sure they'll get better come here. <laughs> sawyer come here. come here he's like i don't know what i'm trying to do <laughs> i just want to say hello he, yeah. I think he knows he's on camera he doesn't want to be on yeah, camera every time we pull out he's the phone take a picture shy. he's like no no camera pictures Gotta be candid. You're a good boy. Yeah, where are you gonna lay down? Yeah, we have finished season seven of uh, Dexter. Because um, the finale will be up on Thursday. There'll be an, uh, the catch us up with Dexter. There'll be an episode out for you guys on tomorrow. Because we had that copyright issue. But we got that figured out. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we just had to take them down while we sorted some of that stuff yeah, we out. We wanted to make sure that we didn't get any other strikes, the other videos, while we were negotiating... Had a nice conversation with a lawyer. <laughs> not our own, somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, not our lawyer. CBS yeah. lawyer. And it, it went well, so. Hence why Dexter's, Dexter's back. back. <laughs> Was the ending of season seven what you were expecting? What, what happened in that one? It's when Deb shot LaGuardia. Oh, no, I... I was really hoping LaGuardia would just kind of let it go, right? I thought I was really hoping she'd let it go, and she didn't. And to be honest, I was almost kind of hoping that Deb shot Dexter instead because I just knew that it was going to crush her if she killed somebody intentionally. Yeah. Yeah. She should have just stayed at the party. She should have stayed at the party. It would have been better if Dexter had just... Had to do all of that by himself without Deb. Here's another thing about LaGuardia. She was pretty dumb for thinking, okay, if Dokes got killed by Dexter. Right. I'm going to be how, fine. Yeah. <laughs> how, how am I going to be? Yeah. How am I going to do better? Right. Because right? Dokes was a better detective and Dokes was a badass special ops guy. Mm-hmm. LaGuardia was just good at politics. Right. She's just backstabbing good at, people. Yep. Just screwing people. All right, what do you guys think? Should we get into some of the unboxing? Should we unbox? Should we start our unboxing situation happening? Let's see, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, we'll probably do the original. I think I, I've already seen the remake. Yeah, you saw. I think you said you saw in the high remake school. prequel, not the actual remake. You saw, I think, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. I don't the way you remember. I don't remember what I saw. I was very scared when I watched it in high school with some friends. What's in the box? All right. Well, we're going to open the three packages from, from Patrick. Patrick and Christy. We already opened this one because it felt like, it felt like, need, it, felt like it could have been it perishable. So <laughs> It was drinks, but we, didn't, we only made sure all the drinks were intact. Put one in the fridge so we can drink it. We did. We, we went ahead and put some in the fridge so they're cold. Oh. For those of you that don't know, Patrick and Christy are the ones that um, that suggested Prince of Darkness. So that movie was because of them. Yeah, it's Patrick's birthday this month, so happy birthday, Patrick. And what do we got here? This is 318 Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, some local Louisiana Great beer, eh? Raft Brewing. 
Drink like you live here. Do we have a Blu-ray and DVD collection? We do. We, do. we have a lot of movies. Um, all of which we've seen, though. Or at least the vast majority of which we've seen. Have you seen Stephen King's The Langoliers? Yes! Okay, yeah. I have seen The Langoliers. Again, another one that my dad made me watch. He didn't make me watch anything, but I watched it with my dad. It was always on sci-fi. It was always on the sci-fi channel, so we watched it a lot, actually. Um, it also, my mom had was traveling a lot for work at that time, so it actually really creeped me the hell out. <laughs> I was always afraid she was going to get Langoliers somewhere. <laughs> All right, and then this drink, I think, is for you. Life itself. Life itself, vanilla peach. Goss? I don't know how to pronounce Goss? it. G-O-S-E. Goose? Go go not Ghost? Goose. Goss? Goss, I think. Gose? I mean, it's Louisiana. Maybe it's Gose. It's French. Ocala, Florida. Now we got a package from there. Yeah. Ocala, Florida. We'll get to it. All right. So drink for you and drink for me. Awesome. Thank you, Brett or Christy and Patrick. Get that box there. That was just one of three, though. All right. First, thank you for watching Prince of Darkness for Patrick's birthday. Oh, thank you. And for the shout out and singing. <laughs> Yeah. In the boxes, you will Sorry find several Louisiana gifts from us. The first box contains beer brewed right here in Treeport. The second box is a selection of Louisiana foods and the spaghetti mm, sauces snacks. from the local Shreveport restaurant. The third part, third box has a shirt for each of you from our local boutique, plus a little something for our, our girls. Oh, awesome. Thanks again All for right. entertaining us with your videos, Christy and Patrick. Let's do it, y'all. Number two. Right. You open number two, I'll open number three. He gives me the larger knife. This is more dangerous to open. Whew. We have not seen the fly, John Best. I just noticed that on the... Uh... The Wanderers. Hello, California. The fly is on our list. They'll probably be... Um, oh, it's going to be on our October poll, I think. Ooh, we got some Little snacks. toys for our daughters. So mm. cute. Alligators and lobsters? Or is that a crawdad? Oh, my. They make cookies. That one does. I think it's a... It's a lobster. It's a lobster. I don't know what a crawdad is. Zaps potato chips. New Orleans kettle style voodoo. Something I've actually spicy. had those. They're good. The yeah. voodoo flavor? Yep. Uh, check out this Prince of Darkness tea for you, babe. Ooh. Prince of Darkness tea. A Brotherhood of Sleep. That's from Fright Rags. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, awesome. I was actually looking at that. At getting that. Good awesome. thing I didn't bite the bullet from the sale this week. No kidding. Weekend yet. Yet. That's awesome. Ooh. Okay. I love some good Parmesan. I Ooh. got myself a Louisiana tea. Ooh. It's a good color, too. I don't know if you have many purple I shirts. I don't have a lot of purple shirts, but it's I like LSU purple LSU purple. It is LSU purple. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. It's so awesome. Tony. Creole Cher seasoning? Creole. Creole seasoning. Tony, Tony Chacheri. Chacheri? It I'm sure it's like French or something. <laughs> Creole seasoning. All right. I've never done a lot of Creole cooking. It's but... a crawfish. Patrick says it's a crawfish. It's not. A it's a crawfish. Yeah. Oh. Well, how much do I know about crawfish? They're like tiny lobsters, right? I don't know. Manjuni's pasta and pizza sauce. Tony's Tony's a seasoning you can put everything on or any on everything. That's perfect. I like to mm. put things weird shit on weird things. So. Good potato sauce right there. Put it on sauce. some wings. You can make some wings tomorrow. Mm. What's that? Good Tabasco. old fashioned Tabasco. Love it. You need that in your fridge. Some gumbo mix. Mm. I've never seen gumbo mix from Zatarans. Zatarain. And j jumba by it. Jump. Jamba Jambalaya. Jambalaya. Yeah. Jambalaya. Dinner mix. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick and Christy. This is awesome. Alright. Have some easy. You know what dinner. we're having for dinner tomorrow, right? 
some wings and jambalaya or something. All right, should we keep the package rolling? Cajun food's amazing. It's your favorite. Mm. Well, Brett's here. Um, oh, he opened his package Brett. because it was a dusty box. We live on a dirt road or gravel road, so boxes from uh, UPS and stuff get dusty sometimes. And so we we're like, we don't like dusty boxes in our houses. So we open it, and we've been using it since we yes. got it. <laughs> Sorry, Brett. Been using it. <laughs> so unboxing again. It's a back massager. Yeah, it's really nice. It's pretty great. Yeah. It's great for after doing a little recording session. Especially Pop like a on. double feature. Throw it on the neck. Get a little massage. I think I actually bruised my neck the other night because I was holding on to it, it so hard. It comes with this funky hat, too. Good one, then. Yeah. Okay. does feel oh. good, though. All right. Use this one because it's got a point. Ooh, a point. We've not reacted to Goodfellas yet. We reacted to... What was that one that's like... Uh, um, the Departed. The, no. Oh, okay, well. That's a Not to Goodfellas, but we will watch that one at some point. What are you comparing? I don't remember. Departed is the closest thing to Goodfellas that we've watched. Usual Suspects. That's the one oh, that I always get suspects. confused okay. with. Usual Suspects. What do we got here? Is there anything in it? That's what I'm looking for. Nope. Nothing in it. Oh. There's like a... This is like a custom-made shirt. Ooh. Yeah, Black Christmas is uh, possibly going to be one of our Christmas movies this year. Also, Silent Night, Deadly Night. <laughs> Circular. It's the brand. Tiny Screen Watcher. <laughs> That's amazing. Face Palm Edition 2021. Oh, and <laughs> Face Palm Edition 2020 back print. That's amazing. Who did this? <laughs> is there a name on there that tag? There wasn't a name. No, it came direct from the company. What about in the... There wasn't anything in it. It just... It was something... Who got us that shirt? <laughs> this is amazing. Chinese. Wonder if that's the same one that got you the Sparta Girl. Could be. Could be. Custom made shirt. Face Palm Edition. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so funny. Yeah, was gra Grandpa, was that you again? Because you got the... You did the Sparta Girl. Oh, that's great. We, uh, where's this, the Sparta Girl reactions coming up? Was that Gone Girl? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so that'll be out, not this Monday, but next Monday. I wore it on one of our reactions recently. Right. Oh, I love that. Ocala, Florida. Oh, there we go. There we go. Saw somebody say that earlier in the chat. Let's see if the name's on it. Don't oh. rip the name. Ryan. Ryan. I won't say your last name because... Baldy Locks, didn't say happy we could. birthday to the missus. Glad you guys like it. Thank you, Thanks, Baldy Thanks, Baldy. All right, Ryan, what do we got here? Ooh. Koozies. Some bottle koozies. Love it. Oh, he read your mind. Oh. A Florida magnet. We got a Florida magnet. It's going on the board. Boom. There we go. 48 Florida. to go. I'm going to use my... I gotta open my we got a little letter. Am I still rocking the jorts? Hi from Ocala, Florida. Thought I'd send you these small gifts. Hope you'll like them. Love your YouTube videos. Hope to see a million more. From a fan, Ryan. Thank you so much, Ryan. Appreciate it. Uh, and appreciate the koozie, because I'm going to use it right now, actually. I got to open my brew. My bottle will fit perfect, I'm sure. Actually, I don't, I don't know if these are meant for Diet Coke bottles, but we'll see. Can't wait to see the missus to watch the dumpster fires that are Freddy... And Chase takes Manhattan. <laughs> I actually just watched that, you guys. We watched it last she, night. She watched Jason takes Manhattan last night because that's what was on our schedule for viewing. Ryan, thank you for the koozies. Now my Diet Coke will stay nice and cold. Beautiful. The Jorts King. Were you saying beautiful to the Jorts or just because you like me so much? Should make a shirt with Mrs. Movie saying, oh no. I get a kick out of her saying that. Oh no. Oh, speaking of uh, shirts and merch, we have merch. If, I forgot to turn it on before I launched the stream, so if anybody got here like right at the beginning, you might want to refresh. But there could be down below, I had it set up, there could be merch lined up. So. Yeah, um, new merch. It's pretty exciting. Give me one of them stickers. 
This is the only thing that we've gotten in person, but our other stuff shipped though. We got I got shipment notifications too. A little die cut sticker. Super. Super. So that's one of the things that we got on merch. So you can get a shirt, stickers, mugs. Um, if you want a face mask? We got those. Thanks uh, to a sweatshirt. Who? Who's the one that developed this? Uh, this is from Shane, Shane. Made this one. Thank you, Shane, for your contribution here. Uh, couldn't have done it without you because I've been asking him to do shit like this for months and <laughs> nothing. I've also been asking him to make a theme song. Hasn't done it. He has all the skills. He just doesn't have the time, he doesn't think. <sighs> Whatever. What's coming off the cult poster, like off the wall? Oh, this is the, an Arizona magnet that we got last, last unboxing. And then this is the Florida magnet we just got. Yep. Great sticker. Yes, you can get yourself a sticker on our merch in our merch shop if you are interested. And it, there is a, a freaking shirt, too. You can buy yourself a shirt if you want. So awesome. Patrick, thank you for the $5. Glad you like your gifts. Tell us how you like the food and beverage. We will, I will let Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. In fact, I'm going to make it tomorrow night, so. Oh, I should drink my Send you a message. Right now, too, it's cold. Yeah. Got, Open I'm it up. Double fist. Open the other one. I'll drink that one. Chat disconnected. Did you break it? Unable to connect to chat. Did we lose you guys? Can you still see us? Um, our stream internet is different than our SpaceX internet. So we're, we're missing chat right now. Oh, man. Can they even see us? Maybe not. No, we're, we're back. We're back. Oh, sorry, guys. No, our stream's not down. It's just our chat. Our This computer that we watch stuff on is on our new SpaceX internet. And we're still getting... Uh, oh, smell it. Spotty. This is the peach, the peach one. We get outages from time to time because it's not in the best location for the satellite yet. So I, I got a, a pole to put it on. And, uh, Christy. Dig a hole, pour some concrete, and not put bad. it out in the middle of the backyard. We can't see it. Get naked. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Are you less terrified by scary movies now? I am. I think I've gotten a little bit of like a callus, if you will. Um, which is kind of annoying too, because I feel like my reactions were better when I wasn't so calloused about it, well, but I don't, know, I, I also feel like we haven't been watching out. a lot of jump scare movies lately. Like no. we started with a lot of jump scare, scary movies. We had and a good jump scare month too, with the start of Friday the 13th and Conjuring movies. Yeah. And then since then we've, they've been like. There's not many jump scary scares. movies, but not jump scares, so they're just not as scary for me. I don't know if you can really count Friday the 13th and Freddy movies at this point as scary. How's Starlink treating you nowadays? We just got it. We just got it like this week. Wednesday? Wednesday, I think. Tuesday. Tuesday is when I turn it on. Okay, Tuesday. So we're not 100% sure yet, but we live in the boondocks, so. It's fast. It's faster than It's just our outages typical. like we just had with our chat dropping. Is because we we probably had a an obstruction. Gets a little spotty sometimes. We're we're thinking about we're still about, streaming on our LTE hotspot. So we're thinking about getting a a pole, installing a big pole in on our hillside to try and get it to be a little bit higher up so that there's less less trees, less and crap in the way, house in the way. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try this beer from Treeport. All right. The peach one's good. Roka, thank you. Our conjuring reactions are the best on YouTube. Well, thank you. Are they the only ones? I don't know. No, there's plenty of conjuring reactions. <laughs> if I dug, if you dig vampire movies, check out Shadow of the Vampire. Okay, Shadow of the Vampire. We can put it on our list. This tastes like Coors. <laughs> when was the last time you had a Coors? It's been a while. I think that's the. Yeah. I don't know. What's, take not. a drink of that peach one right in front of you. Oh, it does kind of taste like... Is it Coors? Coors or Bud Light. I don't drink light beer. It kind of tastes like Bud Light, too. It's probably it's, like a little mix. It's not too... Uh, it's not too beery. <laughs> that might that be more up your alley. Yeah. No, this is more girly. 
more girly. You're the one drinking pineapple cider. Pineapple over cider there. is not girly. Girly. Peach goose. Vanilla peach goose. Goss or something. It's not <laughs> goose. <laughs> I'm going to call it goose. Any more boxes? Yes, more. Oh, yeah. We got distracted by the beer. Sorry, we're drinking. Um, we got we got a few more packages. Doug, I'm eating this popcorn. It's pretty spicy. Yeah, we made that habanero popcorn. It was making her cough just popping. I popped it and, like, you know, it was just breathing and started making me cough. You want to pass me a knife? All right. My what? I might need a knife. Holy cow! Watch out. There's a buttload of movies in this. Yeah, there. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. He destroyed them. There's a, there's a little notey note, too. Marcus! You, Marcus, Marcus has, like, single-handedly increased... Grandpa with the hundred happy birthday shirts was the appetizer. Also, congrats on seventeen thousand subs. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. All right, let me. These are all from Marcus. He got us Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. Ooh. Right. The way she uses the knife is kind of scary. <laughs> well, I wasn't even watching. Yeah, it was kind of scary. You're right. I'm sorry. I have never even heard of this, but Sam Waterston's in it. Warning sign. It looks like a pandemic movie. She looks movie. familiar. Kathleen Quinlan. Mm. She's from uh, Twilight Zone. Well, that's not where I'd recognize yeah. her from. And Major Connolly. Oh, Yafit Koto from Alien. Cool. Whose birthday? My birthday, Steven. Thanks for tuning in to come hang out. Would you guys do silent movies? I'm not sure... A reaction to a silent movie would be that amazing. Yeah. Be easy to edit. <laughs> sure would. <laughs> House of the Long Shadows. Oh, some classics of horror in this one. Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, and Peter Cushing. House of Long Shadows. House of the Long Shadows. Also, Elizabeth yeah. Shue in Link. Elizabeth Shue from uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, and Adventures in Babysitting, yeah. right? She's she's cool. I like her. And Mr. Brooks. Oh, I've heard of that. With, uh, Kevin, Kevin Costner. Costner. All movies you haven't seen. Mr. Actually, Brooks was made in Shreveport. <laughs> Crazy. Actually. What am I, 23 today? These yeah. are all movies I haven't seen either. Exactly, Taco 23. That's right. Actually, I'm 33. Shocker, I know. Mark is coming in. Is Marcus, you are single-handedly like doubling our Blu-ray collection here. This one is from Craig in Baltimore, Maryland. Craig. Thank you, Craig. Marcus also sent us some more chocolates, which are in our fridge so that they don't melt up here. Yeah. Thank you, Marcus. We will eat them later. <laughs> Ugh. Hey guys, just another loyal subscriber here. Thank you for all the past reactions for and for all the ones you have yet to do. I've enclosed thumb drive of some movies. Right. Fourteen. And he, these are all movies he wants us to watch. Oh boy. Conan the Barbarian on our list. Dreamscape on our list. Excalibur on our list. Flesh and Blood on our list. Fright Night is on our list. Highlander is on our list. Pitch Black, which is part of the Riddick trilogy. The whole trilogy is on our list. Um, real Genius, Val Kilmer. Have you seen Real Genius? Nope. Put that on our list. He's a real genius, though. Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. Fred Ward. Okay. Hmm. The Abyss. Is that we, on our list? I, yeah, it is. A lot of people are requesting The Abyss after we watch Alien, because it's James Cameron. Oh. Or Aliens, because it's James Cameron. Um, the Jackal. Bruce Willis, I Richard like Bruce Gere, Willis and Richard Gere. The Untouchables. It's an Al Capone movie. Mm -hmm. They Live, which has been on our polls every month, and Wishmaster. A lot of these awesome. are on Craig is an ex-marine and a devout cat lover. He's got four boy cats. 
Did you say cat lover? Cat. Cat, cat lover. Devout cat lover. Oh, okay. I think you just heard it. Combined. Craig, thank you for your service. He's been enjoying reactor reviews for several years now. Anxiously awaiting our next reaction. And thank you for the movies, because now we don't have to try and find them if we don't have them. So thank you, Craig. That's awesome. All right. Lots of people on board for lots of those movies. So <laughs> that's awesome. I've never even heard of Remo Williams. Yes, Get Out is Friday on our night, list. Friday Night is going to be on... So, uh, Thank you, Craig. Appreciate I'm it. putting up a poll on Monday on Patreon asking if in October, because our schedule for October is mostly set except for like two Mondays. And I'm wondering, or one Monday and then the other Monday was saved for Dune 1984 when it ever came out. Or do we just scrap watching the old Dune and watch another <laughs> scary movie in October? He definitely said count. <laughs> I did say count. Yeah. He's a devout count lover. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thumbnail so, drive, so there are, are no problems with region compatibility with discs. Perfect. All right. Next. Is this another market package? No. Oh, no, it's not? Can you guys review this movie on your channel? Great movie. Enjoy your gift. Love your videos. From David in Houston, Texas. Oh, Motel Hell. This is actually a movie I haven't seen. And was actually going to go on our October poll. That's awesome. Keep it on the poll. Hopefully we'll get to it soon. If it's on the list, we'll get to it. We will watch it. Another great Scream Factory horror movie. All right. Two more, you guys. Two more packages. Oh, this one's from Brett. Ooh. Hey, guys. This is one of my top was. ten favorite films. Figured the missus would like another Brad Pitt movie. I hope you enjoy. Snatch. I've not seen it, so... But always it looks good. good. I always enjoy a good snatch. Huh? Yeah, I hope nobody had to hear that. I think everybody probably did. Who knows? Ralph, welcome to You, Me, and the Movies. Here, where's your pile? Can you put that on your pile? There's a laugh. Somebody heard it. Okay. <laughs> I'll move the pile back here. All right, last one for the unboxing for the evening. Really? I believe so. All right. Got a little letter Ooh. here. Oh. I'll read it. I thought that since the gentleman received a beautiful bolo, you deserve something as lovely to match. I hope you like it and the shirt as well. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you at the next one. Kenneth. Kenneth. Carb 6. In the chat. Here's he also your... posted one of his memes of uh, super. a concept for our super. Ooh, oh, is that for me? That's for you. That's fancy. All right. A Cobra Kai shirt, Eagle Fang Karate, right? Isn't that what he originally comes up with before he... No. When he quits Cobra Kai, he starts Eagle, e Eagle, Eagle Fang. Eagle Fang, yeah. Because right? it sounds super cool. Eagles don't have fangs. Oh, that's so nice. Like who doesn't love a good snatch? Kenneth, that's so nice. He got me some turquoise. It matches the bolo. Earrings and a necklace to match the bolo. Thank you so much, Kenneth. It's beautiful. With the bolo hanging on the wall over there. So when I'm wearing I my love blue shirt, turquoise, I too. My grandparents. Do you want my... me to put it on you? I don't think it'll go with this outfit, but if you want. It's a necklace. It goes with everything. All right. Are your ears even pierced anymore? Yeah, they're pierced, probably. I shove earrings through them every once in a while just to make sure the holes are still there open. There you go. But... Thank you. Ugh. I have a love for turquoise. My grandparents used to wear a lot of it, so thank you so much, Kenneth. Return of the Living Dead 3. Uh, when we watch Return of the Living Dead, we'll do it as the whole trilogy. We have not seen that of the Living Dead 1990. We've seen the She's seen the original classic from Romero, but not the remake from... Uh... Oh, gosh. Now I can't remember his name. The special effects artist from Friday the 13th. <laughs> Liberace didn't enjoy a good snatch. <gasps> you guys. Better Off Dead. Yes, I have seen Better Off Dead, actually. Have I? Have I? She loves, you love Cusack. I do love John Cusack a lot. Grandparents were turquoise? Mandy's on our list. My grandparents wore a lot of turquoise. They had My grandpa had a, a bolo tie made of turquoise. My my gran had a lot of rings that were made of turquoise, so 
I like it a lot. Alexander, thank you for the nine ninety nine. No message though. Oh, Tom Savini. That's right. I don't know. I just had a brain fart in his name. <clears throat> Sleepaway Camp. Man, going to be on our poll for October. It was either going to be like we didn't have a poll in October, or we're putting up a poll now to see if you guys want us to watch the David Lynch Dune at all. So we're going to watch the new one for sure. Got any Aussie movies on the list? Wasn't Descent an Aussie movie? No, Descent was UK. Oh. Um, Triangle's Sorry. Aussie. Oh, Triangle. There you go. I don't really know any other... I mean, Aussie Mad Max movies. is Aussie, but we've seen all those. Mad Max is really good, though. The Changeling. We've had a lot of requests for The Changeling, because it's a good classic horror. Mm -hmm. I, that's one I've actually never seen myself. Ever seen The Pink Panther? Of course. Love The Pink Panther. Steve Martin? What? With Steve Martin? He's not in Pink Panther. He's oh, in the, the remakes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I guess I haven't. I haven't oh, Babadook is uh, Ozzy. We've seen Twin Twin Peaks. Lethal Weapons, great. Oh, and Trick or Treat. That's the one I got to put up. That would be on the October poll. Count Dragula coming in with nine ninety nine. Do you think having her watch Friday the Thirteenth and Nightmare on Elm Street before Halloween will dampen the impact of that reaction? Because it's kind of out of order of who came first. Um, I don't think so. So I think Halloween's, while it's in the same slasher genre, I think it's it's different enough that I think it might bring back the scare. Great. Super. Friday the Thirteenth hasn't been scaring you lately, because at this point they're more. I know Friday the Thirteenth isn't really scary for me right now. It's just. Like, you expect he's going to kill a bunch of people. <laughs> he'll, he'll bust through a door. He'll throw someone through a window. Yeah. Right. Maybe. How is he going to kill them? Maybe off a building. Yeah. But Freddy just, just weirds you out at this point. I just the am not a huge fan of Freddy, you guys. He's just weird. And the dream sequences keep getting weirder and weirder. So. Uh, we just watched your... Elm Street 4 video. We live across from the diner Alice works at. It's a real place in Culver City, California. <laughs> really? That's cool. The That's exterior awesome. is? Or did they actually film it inside? Because it looked like they filmed a Universal inside the old Back to the Future diner, but maybe it was a... It did kind of look like the Back to the Future diner, but that's awesome. Oh, man. Lots of stuff to talk. Okay. <clears throat> Hereditary. Pumpkinhead. Well, yeah, Hereditary is supposed to be really scary. That's one we both haven't seen, so it'll be fun. Super Troopers. Freddy's Caca. <laughs> <laughs> I seem like a cool person to hang out with. I'm I'm a pretty cool person, right? Right? <laughs> I don't hang out with a lot of people but him, so he better think I'm cool. Night of the Demon, no. 1408. I, I, I haven't seen that one either. So that'd be a first for both of us. Love your hat, bro. Thank you. It's his grandpa's hat. Yeah. It's a hand-me-down. Love it. We have the same hat, head size. It's like it was meant to be, right? Mm -hmm. All of, oh, Can they see the hats on the wall? No. They can see the gray one, barely. The last this, one. That's but the nice one. That this one's like also one of his right? grandpa's hats, and he has another one over here that you can't see. Uh, fourteen oh eight. The Burbs. The Burbs. That's with Tom Hanks. Yeah, I think you I mentioned that to me yesterday. Because Fright Rags just posted some new shirts for it. I was like, man, those are cool. I was like, oh, if you've ever seen that. I don't think I have. It's Tom Hanks, so there's funny involved, of course, because yeah. it's Tom Hanks, because it's back when Tom Hanks was doing comedy. But it's also scary. Irked the nothing. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. Have a good night. Uh, the Scream franchise. We will get to that for sure. Yeah, we will. The Origins. Frailty. Don't know what frailty is. What you doing? Alright, I was going to show off some of our... Uh... 
So we got, this is our new super logo, all right? But you can see the stickers for it that we have right here. That's on our t-shirts. We also got this done. We're not sure what we're going to do with this yet. Um, it's our, we like it, but not as much as this. Shane did this for us. So you can see some examples of the merch there. And then this is what we just got done from Darko. And that's also on some t-shirts right now. There's also two versions of it. You can see the difference in the shirts that she's wearing. That one says super on it. This one, like a Jurassic Park shirt. Mm -hmm. So we love this. This is like the little details that Darko put in this. Down to the like reflections of the light in my glasses are like perfect. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Plus the cookie flying out, the popcorn going everywhere. That's all of our merch examples. So. How do you I, use the headset and the hat? Yes, well, show it off. Guess we gotta do the monthly uh, showing off. All right. The hat phones. Okay. There's the headphones. You can see there's little holes cut in. We put felt over them so the there's not light. There's more of an through. illusion. And then there's a top notch cut out so the headphones they rest down inside that notch. Right. And they're comfy. Do you go two-step country dancing? We don't. I keep trying to get him to like take some lessons and do some country swing or something. Yeah, I but took some lessons in high school. He won't. He won't do it. I'm a big fan so far, and I know when you get to reacting Halloween and Scream, I'll finally join the Patreon gang. Awesome. Keep up the great work. Also, hope you guys are aware about Halloween Kills October 15th. I think that will be in theaters, Count Dracula. Last time we talked about... We have a schedule for Halloween. Don't ruin the magic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we just did. Um, I guess I'll break it down again. So this year, we will run through October is Halloween season. We're not going to do all the Halloween movies one in one city. Okay? So in 2021, we will watch Halloween 1 from John Carpenter, Halloween 2, Halloween 4, Halloween 5, and Halloween 6, and get through the original run of the Halloween franchise. And then next year, actually, depending on when uh, the new Halloween movies come out on video, a home video, so we can get copies of them, so we can watch them at home and record them, right, for you guys. Either we'll do H2O Resurrection and then Rob Zombie's two movies next year, or we'll do... Halloween 3, and then the three new movies of Halloween, and then the one that comes out this year, and then I think there's one next year too, right? We are skipping Season of the Witch initially, but we will get to it once we're done with, because it, it's a standalone movie. Autograph stickers from the misses. Awesome. Okay. Something we'll have to think about how to do that. Mm -hmm. Hereditary will scare you, Mrs. M, a tough watch. Oh, great. Thanks, Baldy Locks. <laughs> Ralph's $5 said, Nosferatu and the Phantom of the Opera was, are, silent, are silent films, but important to see the origins of horror. Oh. So Nos, Nosferatu is one of, the, one of the very first horror films. full-length silent films, and it's about a vampire. Do we get out to see movies in the theaters often? Not lately. He's a big movie theater fan. Last movie theater... I went to uh, Godzilla vs. Kong in theaters. That was the last movie I saw in theaters. But nothing since. I used to love going to the theater until I got pregnant. And then I just didn't... Want to sit. Want to sit uncomfortably pregnant. in a chair while pregnant. And then I haven't really had the urge to go back since. So, The Planet of the Apes movies. She's seen all the remakes... Of the, the prequel remakes. I've seen I think you've a seen... few of the originals, <clears throat> I think. Um, yeah, we'll do a reaction to Hellraiser. Mm -hmm. Somebody earlier asked questions, I think it was M, about our relationship. We're married. Seven years in November. How we met. How, what, 
What our first date was like. Oh, our first date was hell. Never again. She beat me in bowling. Kicked his ass. Because I let her. I'm, we I'm went to Escape Plan after dinner. That was our first date movie. It was Escape Plan with Arnold and Sly. It was a good one. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Movies is not available. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we actually met on Match. Yeah, Match.com. It works. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with bowling. It's fun. It's like it's social, but still not too like face to face. Like dinner, right? Dinner is like very much face to face. Bowling's a little bit more fun and playful. Um, and then you get to look at the other person's ass, which is great. Wait. Right? You were? <laughs> Thanks again for all the work. I'm glad to see your channel growing as it has. Keep bringing back the jorts, Mr. Movies. Oh, and I happy will. birthday, Mrs. Movies. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for the contribution. Halloween 2018 this year. We gotta watch the classic ones first. High school sweethearts. Oh, that's sweet. Who's that? Rabbit Tribble. Oh, Rabbit. I'm sure if we went to high school together, we'd probably be sweethearts. But we didn't. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I, supposed to I don't even know if you're my type still. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna... Drink my beer. Just kidding. She has not seen The Big Lebowski. That's on our list. Mini golf. That's another good first date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, like fun, but... There's no mini golf place around here. No. Did we kiss on the first date? We did on the second. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe like a kiss on mm -hmm. the cheek, I think. It was a good handshake. There was a hug. Yeah. It was a good handshake. <laughs> I think we hugged. There was a hug because I think you went back and told your family I was a good hugger. It's a big deal in my in my house. I'm a good hugger. You got to be a good hugger. Really? I, you I'm can a tell, really good French hugger, if you know what I mean. You can tell a lot about a person by the way they hug. Some people hug real stiff. It's just not. You gotta you gotta hug with your heart, right? No, Andy. <laughs> no, Cleon. <laughs> On the first date. Did the missus just channel Masuka? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember what Did I said. Did you laugh now. like him? Kingpin is one of my favorite movies. I love that movie, actually. Best bowling movie ever. It's pretty funny. Probably the only other than Big Lebowski. I can't Did he kiss other. you on the cheek, or did you kiss him on the cheek? Um, I don't. I think maybe I kissed him on the cheek. I can't really remember. I don't think we kissed, we kissed on the first date, though. Definitely kiss us a little bit. Gotta lean into into a hug. Yeah, you gotta lean into a hug. Gotta mean it. You gotta feel it. <clears throat> Mothman Prophecies on our list. I've seen it, she hasn't. Go in soft and squeeze. Taco nose. See? <laughs> favorite character on Lost currently. Locke, obviously. Locke's my favorite character. Locke's too easy. Second favorite. No, Hurley's the easy pick. I mean, everybody loves Hurley. Right. That's why Locke is not the easy pick. So third favorite. Echo. Echo's now your third favorite. What about Saeed? I thought Saeed was Oh, well, I, I like Saeed a lot. No, Saeed's my third favorite. Actually, I don't know that I'd put Hurley at the top of my favorite list. I'd probably put Locke, Saeed, then Hurley. Then Hurley's mom. Then Hurley's mom. <laughs> favorite sports team? Dallas Cowboys. They're sure. just watching their preseason game before going live. Sawyer's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have we seen the fraud? The, the Saw franchise? No. But it's on the list of things to mm -hmm. watch. Premarital kiss on the cheek? <laughs> Sinner? <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer is her favorite? Maybe. Is Sawyer still around? Is he still in chat? Flintstones has bowling. You're right. Flintstones is one of my favorite. Well, it's my favorite cartoon ever. Favorite the cartoon. John Goodman movie has bowling in it. But I really like the Flintstones movie too. Yep, love Shrek. Um. Oh, where's my little notepad that I wrote down questions? 
Oh. Children of the Corn. She hasn't seen that. It's on her list. <clears throat> um, okay, we had a few questions in our one of our posts. Um, oh, we're going to do a shout out for Tony Loves Horror. Yeah, he uh, posted a... Um, a fan... I don't even know what the hell you call it. It was like it. a fan edit. Collab. Or, or not collab, but... Uh... Wow, good. Lots, all the words, all the words. <laughs> a compilation. Compilation. I knew it was a go. c word. <laughs> God, brain fart from hell. He did a, a horror uh, reaction compilation of all your of all best, of jump, my best jump scare moments. So if you haven't, uh, we played on that, stream, but there's Tony loves copyright horror. Copyright music on it, so yeah, there is copyright music, so we can't play it on stream. But Tony loves horror. It's hilarious. I'll find the link for it real quick. Um, and Tony also asked favorite horror movie so far of the ones that I've seen Alien the whole Alien franchise is my favorite I think I, it's one of those movies that I hated while I was watching it because it scared the crap out of me but I absolutely love it looking back on it so that's what I'm going with Alien favorite horror so we're going to have a huge shout out for Tony though he's got one subscriber on YouTube he recently started this channel he loves horror. There's the video he did of our cha uh, a reaction channel tribute. But head on over to his channel. In another tab. Don't leave us. Right? right. Don't leave us to watch it. Save that to watch it after we're done talking with you. You'll get a good out. laugh out of it. It's pretty great. Hit that subscribe button on his channel. Give him some love. Because he's got some... I just hit the... I was his second subscriber. So that means he subscribed to his channel and then I did. So... <laughs> Tony. I, I need to go and do that also. I haven't looked at YouTube today. Um, Full Moon Massacre in Dinosaur Valley cult classic. Much easier to watch than most of the Italian cannibals exploitation films. Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. I think I actually A have A good that. entry I'm flick for the misses. Somewhere. All right. Massacre in Dino Dinosaur Valley. I like it's, dinosaurs. It's an Italian cannibal movie with dinosaurs. Oh, I'm not sure about the cannibal part, but... Maybe we'll give it a try. <laughs> have yours see Dawn of Dead movie? Have I seen Dawn of, Dawn yeah, of the Dead? Yeah, we have a Dawn of the Dead reaction. That's the We have the Snyder version reaction. She saw the classic before that. Mm -hmm. so. He made me watch it at a different time. Yeah. Told me it wasn't scary. Which one did you think was better? Classic or remake? Um, I think the classic was better. Yeah. Scarier? Yeah. I think the new one was more action. The new there one was, was great, too. I really liked the though. new one also. I liked them both, but I think the classic was maybe just a little bit better. Wasn't Betty played by Rosie O'Donnell? Betty from what? Who's Betty? From Flintstones. From Rosie O'Donnell played Betty. Oh, yeah, the... yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a horrible casting. Um, I spanked him once to Betty. <laughs> Someone said that earlier. <laughs> Melek, yeah. Uh, Tuesday Night is played Kristen, and she sang that song. We actually had a ton of comments. So many comments about Tuesday Night singing that, yeah. that song. Especially that was a really said her good name song. Like a porno I liked, name. Yeah, it did sound like a porno name. I really liked that song, too. It was such a catchy tune. Perfect for that franchise. I don't know why they didn't use it more. Um, oh, I don't know if you read my comment or anyone else's in the Dream Master comment That's section. That's what I just oh, said. sorry. Facepalm. Um, have you ever seen Duel, Walking Dead in the Future? Mm, I, we've already seen all of Walking Dead. We haven't seen all of it. We stopped watching it after we, we felt it jumped the shark for both of us. Yeah. Which was kind of like before we met. Well, yeah, we were both watching Walking Dead independently, and then before we met, we met each met, other. Mm -hmm. And then we met, tried watching it, and we were both like, this, mm -hmm. we just don't lost like it its, anymore. Lost its appeal by the season that we, both, we, we met. were yeah. watching it in. What's the best movie ever made for you? Both for you and for me. For me? Oh. Let me think. <clears throat> that is a tough one. Best movie ever made. Because it's ridiculous for me to say it. What? Son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> or Tommy Boy. Two best movies in the world. What is the best movie ever made? Jaws. Back to the Future. Or Back to the Future. Yeah. 
Jaws is one of those movies that, uh, Manuel, suggestion, watching horror with the lights on is not a deal for immersion. You're Ashley right. watches horror with the lights off and night vision on. She does. This would amp up the scares exponentially for the miss. She's also said she refuses to watch. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It would exponentially amp up the scares for uh-huh. me, which is why we don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> she refuses to watch. I like to sleep at night, and I have a hard enough time doing it. Watching what we watch with the lights on. I think her reactions to scary movies have been pretty good regardless of the lights, so. I think it might actually take me out of the movie more, because then I'd be more focused on the noises in the room behind me. Yeah, because even with the lights on, if there's a noise in the room, she's like, Ugh. Yeah, freak out a little. When's the old boy reaction coming? Uh, it's on our list. Loser tube, thank you. 1.21 gigawatts, that's right. Mm-hmm. Best movie ever. That's the movie that brought us together, I would say. Yeah, it was her f- catch line on Match. Yeah. Where we're going, we don't need roads. It was either that or it was from... Patrick, thank you so much for tuning in and joining us this late at night, your time. And thanks for all the goodies. It's awesome to have you guys here, and I can't wait to try the food for tomorrow. Jambalaya, it's yeah, happening. Good, good night. Christy and Patrick. Thanks for the beer. Yeah. Cheers. Do we collect physical media or do we stream? We have lots of we physical media. We have lots media. of physical media. Mm-hmm. As much as I'd like him to not buy all the movies that we watch, he insists on having a hard copy of all of mm-hmm. them. Any Polly Shore movie is fantastic. You're absolutely right. <laughs> as good as Ernest movies, though. Oh, whatever. I'm going to say some of my top five movies. Uh, Eternal Sunshine for the Spotless Mind. Mm-hmm. Lars and the Real Girl. Love that movie. You think it's... You, you You hear about the premise of it and you're like, this looks stupid. That movie will make you cry. It does. really draws you in. Um, Jaws is something I... If it's on TV, I have to watch it. No matter what part of the movie it's at, I'll finish it. Mm-hmm. Ernest Scared Stupid for... Have you ever seen Ernest Scared Stupid? I don't think so. Oh, man, we might have to watch that for a Halloween movie one of these years. I think I've seen Ernest Goes to Camp and, like, a Christmas Ernest one. Uh, We've seen The Leftovers, yes. She's seen Tremors as well. The first one, not the whole franchise, though. I think I've maybe seen Tremors 2 also, but... It's one of flying Tremors. Are we excited about the Monsters movie? I love the Monsters. It's one of my favorite old-school television shows. There's a big name making it. I can't remember the name. We'll be watching Matrix in December when the new movie comes out. We'll be ro- rolling through the whole original trilogy. Oh, that's a good of question. Matrix. Of all the characters you've reacted to, which characters do you want to punch in the face the most? I got a lot of people I want to punch in the face. Can't say Sawyer. It's too easy. I know. I, I won't say Sawyer. It's way too He's easy. been beat up enough. He's been shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um. Oh, Rob Zombie's making it? Ooh. Rob Zombie making the monsters. That's gonna be weird. Well, That's gonna do be I weird. I want to punch in the face. David from Alien. David from a- from Prometheus. Prometheus, David, just punch that guy in the face. Even more so from uh, Covenant, because he gets even weirder in that one. Yeah. Ninth Gate from with Johnny Depp. It's on our list. Okay, more questions. Did I have sleepless nights after The Exorcist? I already yeah, answered that. Yeah. No, I did not. Luckily, are we looking? Or are we looking to change the room setup as our channel grows? So we if, tried, you guys. If we you've tried been so here hard. since the beginning, you will notice that our. Or if you go back and watch our old videos, you'll notice there'd be a red tint, and that's because the carpet in this room used to be flipping blood red. It did, yeah. And there was like it, it was almost impossible. It was bright red to color wool carpet. Out. It was impressive. There was a lot of work, but uh, if you look now, we got nice gray carpet back there, and so when we got that carpet, we cleared out the whole room, and we sat there for hours, mm-hmm. being like, okay, almost a whole day. How could we do our setup better in this room? There's no way to do it. We tried. We, we tried every single possible scenario. There was no way. The The thing for us is we like the three camera setup. Mm-hmm. 
We like the green screen where it's just me so that you can see my reaction over overlaid on top of the video. So we didn't want to get rid of that, which makes sitting together kind of impossible. So, um, because we thought, oh, maybe we could bring in a couch, but how do we do it that way if we no. bring in a couch? We, I don't think we could fit a, a couch through that old door anyway. No, the door's like two feet wide. It, it's it's a weird house, you guys. It's really old. It just doesn't work out. So for now, this is how it's going to be because we literally tried every other thing we could think of in this room and it just was not going to work. Oh, Percy from the Green Mile. Good call. Yes, I would punch him in the face He's so hard. He's the most hard. deserving, I think, yep. of all the people we watched. Yep. Thank you, Alexander. I forgot about that movie. <clears throat> uh, Count Dragula with the $10 for nine ninety nine says, I made a meme using a screenshot of Mrs. reacting to the thing and posted it in a horror meme group called Nightmare on Meme Street. Nice. And to tell us how that went. How did it, how'd the meme go over? Do people like it? And then Celestial Woodway with $5 comes in saying, FastCustomShirts.com has great horror t-shirts. Ten bucks each. No, I don't own it. <laughs> awesome. We'll have to Myst check it out. Mysterious Midnight comes in with $50. Mysterious Midnight. And no mis Mysterious. There's no message. No message. Totally mysterious. Mysterious Midnight. Wow. Stick into your name. Hardcore. I and like it. Midnight on the East Coast. Midnight on nine. Thank you, Mysterious Midnight. I love that. Prince of Darkness was, since you guys reacted to Prince of Darkness, you went to greatest YouTube channel that has ever existed, and then <laughs> somebody said they just recently watched it today. It was awesome. We liked it. It was, yeah, yeah. it was weird. It was weird. It was but good. But I, I liked it. It was, it was a thinker. Good old slow burn thinker. Some good creepy stuff. That's the mystery. <laughs> uh, Walter Peck also got punched in Die Hard. Walter Peck, the... He's the reporter in Die Hard. He's also Walter Peck in Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Deserved it. He doesn't have a dick in Ghostbusters. You'd punch a mentally ill Percy in a psych ward? <laughs> yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Mysterious Midnight joining you, me, in the movie. Becoming a member. Thank you, Mysterious Midnight. Enjoy oh, the emotes. I like the mystery behind this. Also, to build on that question about how would... Have you got thought of changing up your setup? Does anybody have any, like, we like good criticism, Absolutely. feedback. Absolutely. Feedback's always helpful. What would make our reactions better? Besides watching them in the dark, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people say that. Yeah, there's a hurricane. Yeah, for all you people on the East Coast. Yeah, be safe over there. Like the North Northeast is getting their first hurricane in, like, 30 years. Saw a state of emergency in New York, so stay safe if you're over on the coast. In the Northeast. Stigmata's on our list. But yeah, if you have any... We get comments saying, why do you guys do the camera change and nobody else does that? And we're like, well, we like the camera changes. But if there's anything else... Yeah, we then... like the camera changes. I think it adds a nice layer of... Um, there. There's not so many jump cuts then. You don't see jump cuts. You get a different view. I don't know. I like them. We're leaving the three cameras. She has not seen Bates Motel, which is the TV show prequel of Psycho. We should watch that, though. I'd be interested in that. I think... I mean, I feel like we have to watch... Psycho, Psycho first. At okay. least the first couple movies first. Donnie Darko. Yeah. That's She's a seen, weird freaking movie. I watched I that movie like, like that. 20 times in college. Was he like, made, he I made me Darko watch it. I did not out. like it at all. She didn't like it. It was scary, you guys. It was weird. So our first date was Dexter style. No, I was not. Neither of us were... Uh, Trying to kill anybody, yeah. I think. On he a, doesn't leave the a house vetting. a lot, so... <laughs> I'm not well, worried about him killing people. I don't even know of. <laughs> oh, thank you, Garrett. That's nice. Have you seen Dracula Dead and Loving It? I have not seen any Dracula movies. Dracula Dead and Loving It is Leslie Nielsen. I've not seen she it, hasn't but seen I like it. Leslie Nielsen. That would Nielsen. be fun. We should watch that. I've I've never seen Nightmare Before Christmas. In fact, I get Nightmare Before Christmas and Nightmare on Elm Street confused a lot. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas, though, is one of our on our Christmas, Christmas list. It's on our Christmas movie list. Yeah. Alexander Garcia, welcome to the members. Woo. You mean the movies? Silence of the Lambs is coming soon, and have we seen Seven? Seven was the seventh movie we reacted to, and that wasn't even a plan. 
I did not just plan for seven way. to be our seventh movie. I, I like uploaded it was like, wait, lot. seven's our seventh upload on our channel. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I also guessed the ending pretty early on. Yes. So she wasn't surprised when she opened the box. I was. I was Silence of the Lambs is actually coming uh, next month. Get a big bean bag from Love Sack. We actually looked at that. We did. We looked at a big, big bean bag. Only thing about a bean bag though is it slumping. We'd, we'd be down here watching it. You would get more of my. We'd have to chin. angle the cameras more. You get more chin than anything. She's seen all the classic Mad Max and Fury Road. It's one of our favorite franchises. Swifty <clears throat> says that they like Hannah more than Rita. I'm not. I'm with you. I'm. Loom, nothing beats Lumen. I no. love I Lumen. Know. Yeah, I, Lumen was like my favorite. Me. Rue coming in with fifty dollars. Rue Thank thirteen. Thank you. Happy birthday to me. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a. It's been a good birthday week. Yeah. I bought myself a pie, so that's awesome. Two pies actually. You Two pies. Chocolate pie and a lemon. I pie. didn't. I love, I love lemon chocolate. meringue pie. I hate making it, so I buy it from Sherry's, and it's really good. If you guys have not ever had a Sherry's lemon meringue pie. Get yourself one, because they're actually super good. The crust is much better than a crust I make for myself. <laughs> and um, and I got him a chocolate pie. I didn't eat any of the chocolate one. But... Is there still any of that left? <laughs> no. No, I threw it away. Sorry. There was, like, one little bit left, and it was taking up room in the fridge. So Monster Squad. Oh, man. I'm getting a bunch of movies I got to throw in our October list. Do we ever have lasso battles? She'd no. lose. I'd lose. <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. Pulp Fiction is coming soon as well, next month. Village Inn Pies? I've never I've never heard of a Village Inn. Pecan Pie. Never had one. Bram Stoker's Dracula is on our list. Um, I'm trying to see. I saw something up here. The classic Clash of the Titans. I don't think you've ever seen that. It's a good one. Rocky Balboa. The whole franchise. I've seen a couple of Rockies. Have you? The one... And I think number two. I thought we had that on our list because you haven't seen it. We have Rambo on our list. Oh, Rambo's on the list. Yeah. Seen American Pie? Yes, I've seen American Pie. Mm-hmm. Do you like Scream movies or Halloween? We haven't watched either of those. Well, she. Hasn't. I haven't watched either. Swifty. We already watched Event Horizon. That was also freaking terrifying. Nobody warned me that that one was going to be so creepy. Event Horizon was one of our requested movies after watching Alien, so we threw it on the list pretty early. So And it was not good. So she's like, you like sci-fi, you like scary. Well, she didn't like scary, but she liked sci-fi. Watch Event Horizon. So but I was hey, like, oh great, I like sci-fi. That did great. introduce our your love of Lawrence Fishburne Lawrence to the channel. Lawrence Fishburne, yeah. Because <laughs> you loved Lawrence Fishburne in that, because he was the hero in yeah. Event Horizon. So when he showed up in Predators... You're like, oh my god, it's Lord Fishburne. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> and then Larry and We've seen Nightmare Django 3. Unchained. That's such a good movie. Yeah, yeah. that's one of the only uh, Tarantino movies she's seen mm -hmm. was Django. I think that's the only Tarantino movie. Oh, the meme only got about 100 reacts. The group only has about 7,000 members, so you know the activity isn't great. Hey, 100 is pretty good. But it was a horror normie for first time, and then a different pick of horror veteran Nodden. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Count, for, for doing that. That's pretty funny. What's something that I've always found creepy? Spiders? Snakes. Snakes. They move so fast. They don't have feet. How do they move so fast? It's terrifying. No. Dark City. I think that's on our list. Loved your V for Vendetta reaction. Seen Gladiator. You've seen Gladiator. I've seen Gladiator, yeah. Someone you can punch in that one. Yes. <laughs> the Emperor. Yeah. Thank Walking you, Scotty Phoenix. Boy. Have you seen the new It movies? No. She has not. She's not seen the old It movies either. We have a plan for that. Snakes on a plane's on the list. Yep. Oh, you haven't seen Snakes on a Plane. Arachnophobia. Yeah, mm -hmm. always those weird, scary ones. I love Million Dollar Baby. It's so good. It's such a good movie. So sad. Yeah, very sad. <clears throat> we have seen The Hangover, of course. Muhammad Ali, uh, have you seen Spartacus? Is that the TV show or the classic movie? Because this TV show is on our list. We actually have it have it on the shelf back there to re ready to watch whenever we get to it. Troy, I like that movie a lot with Achille Achilles and yeah, Brad Pitt's nice and beautiful in that one. Eight Legged Freaks is on our list. We got to watch Arachnophobia first. I feel like that's the. I think Arachnophobia is the best spider movie there is. 
Do we miss sitting down to enjoy a movie we haven't watched for our own pleasure? We still do we, that for We do it every once in a while for things like We've been doing Marvel the Marvel movies. movies yeah. Off. We recording. do them off, yeah, off camera because I don't really want to have to react to them. I just want to enjoy them. And we also feel there's plenty of reactions for them because every other channel does all those, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, Indiana Jones is probably some of our favorite movies. I walked down the aisle to the Raiders of the Lost Ark march. Yeah. So, like, you know, when the groom walks down it. first. It was a good one. That's what I, I walked out to. Bum, ba, dum, ba. I also have been Indiana Jones multiple times for Halloween. <laughs> I, have, I have a fedora and a whip and a leather jacket and everything. <laughs> and a satchel. Yeah. Yeah. Indiana Jones wears one. It was my mom's old purse. It was a nice leather, brown leather one. Gotham on Fox. We started watching Gotham, I think, didn't we? We watched a few episodes of that. Mm. We never got through it, though. We didn't. Carlito's Way. Scarface. Yeah, all of those. Accepted. Like, the... The college movie? Call, I love that movie. It's love so it. funny. We actually recently watched that again. Yeah, like in the last not too months. long ago, yeah. Jurassic Park is also an amazing. We that was in our um, wedding as well. Swifty Teen Wolf is on our list. I actually have it on the shelf to watch sometime soon in case it, it wins a poll. As well as Return of the Living Dead. I see that request a lot. <clears throat> Jurassic Park theme song was the one that I had my bridesmaid walk into for our wedding. Oh, the, just part. The, yeah. The score or whatever. Because they're all clever girls. Mr. Movies. My army buddy got married and walked down the aisle to the Superman theme at his wedding. That's a good Pretty one. awesome. <laughs> Would we do any foreign movies or anime? Um, I have a feeling Akira will be a request soon since Mark has bought us it. Okay. Um, I've tried making her watch our. We might have to start that over now that you're. She was better at this. We watched like the first couple episodes of Evangelion, the cl- the classic show. I just before don't know. you were like, I don't think anybody wants to watch us. I just don't like our first think month. I have a lot to react to. Like I, I don't think I'll react to that. Mm-hmm. I I just don't think I will. I won't have any witty comments because I won't. I won't know what's going on at all. But as for foreign films, we have a lot of. Um, I know *Pan's Labyrinth* is one I want to get to. Um, a bunch of Korean films from like *The Host*, *Parasite*, *Old Boy*, um, *Train to Busan*. I have actually haven't seen *Train to Busan*, so I want to see that. Favorite movie soundtrack. Favorite movie snacks. Favorite movie soundtrack has got to be Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a good one. <clears throat> the first ever movie soundtrack I ever bought on CD, it was also my first CD I ever bought, was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right? The first film. One of my favorite movie soundtracks is Dirty Partners Dancing. Partners Crime. Dirty Dancing. Great. G-U-R-T-L-E Power. Oh. Uh, what's your favorite movie snack? Movie snack? Milk Popcorn? Um... I like Bunch of Crunch when I'm at the theater. Bunch of Crunch? You don't hear that very often. Like, Milk Duds are... I like eating Milk Duds, but they're so chewy that I kind of feel like I need to be alone. Yeah. (laughs) Ferris Bueller's Day Mm -hmm. Off is a classic. I love it. The Shredder theme. Go Ninja Go. The drums of that. No, Go Ninja Go is from Turtles 2. (laughs) All right. Uh, Red Vine's your favorite. I hate Twizzlers. Okay, Rabbit Tribble. I am not a Twizzlers fan, except for Grab My Twizzlers. I'm a chocolate Twizzlers fan. This is her Twizzlers. She likes chocolate Twizzlers. They smell like rubber. They are the best, you guys. More rubber than usual. Oh, God, I love Dirty Dancing. Yes! Dirty Dancing's the greatest. And Steel Magnolias is pretty good, too. That'll make you cry. Dirty Dancing is such a classic. Yeah, nothing beats the original TMNT practical effects. The original suits are amazing. Oh, this is my old badge. Yeah, my, give me my other one. Oh. Yeah, thank you. 
chocolate licorice, you guys. Black licorice has its place. We like getting the uh, Red Vines, like, grab bag that has all their variety in it. And that's when I like eating black licorice because it's, like, it's a good palate resetter, right? Yeah. But to just eat exclusively black red licorice at one time. The Rope is my favorite red vine. But chocolate licorice, that's where it's at, you guys. What's my favorite Val Kilmer movie? Batman Forever. What movies make the missus cry? Mm. Green Mile makes everybody cry. Yeah. Mm. She drank the stuff I drank, tears from I drank a lot of water eyes. that that night. <laughs> um Family Stone brings tears to my eyes almost every single time at the end. Love that movie. Multi flavored Twizzlers? Like I don't know the, about like that. The, like the rainbow ones? The rainbow bag? Hmm. Never had it. Oh, yeah. Val Kilmer as um, Doc Holliday is probably his greatest role. He should Armageddon, have yeah, that. that'll bring the tears. Armageddon? Yeah. Time Traveler's Wife is so good. When Aerosmith starts playing? No. I could stay away just to hear your breathing. Natural. He's a natural. My girl. Oh, yeah, my girl, right? When he dies. We have seen Disturbia. Which movie will you never watch again? Of the ones that we've we've watched on, on camera? <laughs> Lots of them. I feel like we've already agreed that we'll watch Aliens again. I think we will absolutely watch yeah, Aliens the, the again. Alien mm -hmm. franchise. Um, I will never watch Event Horizon again. Ever. <laughs> so ever. never watch Event Horizon again. I will probably never watch The Descent ever again. Never. We'll watch Descent too someday, I bet. Maybe the second one, maybe. <laughs> Favorite actress? Uh, Sandra Bullock. Deep Impact or Armageddon? Which one's better? Armageddon. Okay. I saw Armageddon first, so... I think Armageddon came out first. They both came out the same year, though. They did. I remember going to both of them. I was like, this is awesome. There's meteor movies. Serendipity. Movies. I love Serendipity. I love John Cusack. So, I love Serendipity. Thank you for reminding me how much I hate Aaron Smith. <laughs> Most disturbing movie you've watched. Event Horizon? It's the one you... Are Event Horizon. The set? Exorcist. Exorcist was more it's disturbing, disturbing than scary. Yeah, yeah, it's disturbing. Godzilla is your favorite? So it's Godzilla's your favorite. Oh, they can't see the Godzilla's. Best jump scare. Descent. Descent. This is how much I love Godzilla. On the walls. You can see it on their other angle. Sandra Bullock is in Descent Part 2. <laughs> she is? No. Just trying to get me to watch Descent Part 2. <laughs> Cleon. It's like, I don't remember that. Cleon. There's mystery flavored Twizzlers? Ew. I don't know that I'd risk it. Are we sports fans? Yes, you absolutely. Like football. We're NFL ready football. For fantasy football. Our drafts are coming up. Yeah, super excited about football. Season. I can miss a couple leagues that we're in. Fantasy football is the best, and I love NFL football so much. Also, okay, we need to, like, since we're, like, an hour and a half into this. Yeah, what are we doing? Dexter is ending soon. Right? It is. The finale Dexter. for season seven hits YouTube this week. You have five and six coming out tomorrow to catch us up, and then we're back on to our Tuesday, Thursday regular schedule from here on out. So, all right, not five and six, seven and eight on tomorrow, then nine and ten on Tuesday, and then the finale, 11 and 12, on Thursday for season seven. And then we got three more weeks after that of season eight. Do you have the Godzilla Criterion set? I do. I do have the Criterion set, yes. I have Godzilla in every DVD every release way you and can imagine. release. And every virtual or... Uh, yeah, we got the... All of the, all the ones that came on digital also. copies, too. Mm -hmm. Rugby. I like rugby. I We don't watch it a lot because it's, it's not really, on, not really on in on American television very frequently. Ben but. DiNucci or Cooper Rush? Cooper Rush was on fire today. He was looking good with the ones. Type of music. I don't oh, like yeah. Ben DiNucci's sidearm throw. He looks like he doesn't know how to throw a football. 
King Kong is... I like King Kong, too. I watched King Kong vs. Godzilla. I still have the VHS in the closet. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. It Our was, kids watch Godzilla They love that, too. King Kong vs. Godzilla is their favorite movie. Yeah. It was my favorite movie when I was little. I watched King Kong vs. Godzilla, Ghostbusters, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles until I wore out the VHSs. Like, there was... There's scenes in those VHSs I have to fast forward to or the tracking, like, the tape gets eaten. It's weird. Street Thief. Street Thief. Never but heard of it. I got sidetracked. So I was talking about Dexter's ending soon. Oh, yeah. We have our new shows. So between Dexter Season 8 and the start of the new season, New Blood, uh, we will be watching Firefly. Because seven weeks from the end of Dexter until the new season, there's seven weeks. So the way we watch episodes of TV shows, just relax, okay, just relax. Um, we'll be able to get through Firefly in that break. So that will be our Tuesday show. We'll be Firefly Tuesdays. We'll start with the pilot, which will be a two-part episode, and then we'll go through. Um, the other 13 or so episodes. And then we'll watch Serenity. And Serenity will come out on a movie. Um, actually, at that point, our movies will be moved to Tuesday because we'll watch Dexter live Sunday nights. I'll re- edit it fast and throw it up on Monday. Mysterious Midnight with another $50 and no message. Who is this guy or gal? Somebody mysterious. Oh, man. Mystery is Thank real. Thank you for the $50. Thank you so much. Saving Private Ryan is on our list. Castle is a TV show. I love Castle. She loves Castle. She loves love it. it. Nathan, Nathan Fillion. Fillion. Mm-hmm. Nathan Fillion is a star of Firefly. I know. I've never seen it. We're he, gonna watch it. But if you watch Castle, he actually dresses up as his ha- Firefly character for Halloween. Yes, I know. I do re- <laughs> remember that. Yeah. Um. Oh, we had a couple of questions. Uh, Band of Brothers is on our list, but we'll be watching Firefly on on Tuesdays. And then we just had a poll for our TV show at the start of this month. It ended, I think, last Friday. And we'll be watching the Haunting series, both Haunting of Hill House and Haunting of Bly Manor, which will be a first time for both of us. That will be our Thursday TV show until we go through all 19 episodes, which will take us until the end of November. So we do not have an Instagram yet, no. We have a a Twitter account. No Instagram. We don't take enough pictures. No. I don't even post on Twitter enough. But we, we're we actually happy that the Haunting series won that poll because it's perfect timing for October. We'll get through the first season by the end of October and then premiere the second, or the Bly Manor season, the week of Halloween. So I feel like that would be perfect for people wanting to watch scary stuff. Right? Yeah. It's going to be great. Can't wait. Super. Uh, so like count behind. Marvel or DC? Ooh, that's a hard one. That'll make you enemies. Well, we just watched Suicide Squad, which is DC. I like both. I like both, to be honest. I think Marvel's done a better job. Like, I think Marvel's uh, done movies. a better job with the universe. Yeah. Right? But DC has probably the best comic book movie in The Dark Knight. Sure. I don't know. I like I like both, but I think Marvel does a better job of bringing comedy to their mm-hmm. to their movies than DC does, and I think that's what draws me towards Marvel a little bit more. Count Dragula, we don't have an Instagram. You've asked that like ten times in the last ten minutes. We've already answered it too. Let's we'll say it again. Haunting of Hill House, Jesse. I just said, just announced it. That's our next TV show after Dexter. Uh, it will start in September. Middle of September, the first episodes will drop. We're actually going to start watching it here pretty soon. As soon as we finish up um, watching Dexter. Which will be real soon. I told my friend I, I like DC better and he hasn't talked to me for the last two weeks. I'm telling you, you'll lose friends if you pick a side between Marvel and DC, yeah, right? Yeah, animated Ooh. DC movies are awesome. We haven't reacted to any, but I've watched some of them. They're great. We've watched the... Uh, um, Dark Knight Returns DC animated movie. Yeah, yeah, those, those were, were good. Really mm-hmm. good. Yep, the Batman one. That's also written by Alan Moore, who does Watchmen and V for Vendetta. Oh. He wrote that comic, so. But yeah, we'll go through Hill House and then Black Manor right after it, and then we'll be doing another poll for our next TV show. 
Yeah. Uh, favorite kind of music? What type of music do we listen to? All, all genres. Yeah. I'll listen to country. I'll listen to alternative. I'll listen to rock, classic rock. I like electronic. She doesn't like electronic. I don't like it. It's just sounds. Just lots all of the music same is sounds. sounds. I know, but it's just sounds over like repetitive. All words are letters. <laughs> People under stairs is on our list. It's going to be on our October movie list uh, poll for a Halloween movie. Count Dragula is still asking if we have an Instagram. Are, is our mic broken? <laughs> or is your sound not working? <laughs> Favorite country singer? Garth Brooks. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with Garth. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Garth Brooks. It's cool. Favorite college baseball team? Or ba- ball football? Team. Ball team. I don't know. I don't actually love college football that much. That'll that'll get me some haters, I'm sure. I prefer NFL to college. Mainly because there's so many college teams that I can't keep track of the players. And... They change like, every four years? Right. I like the fantasy football <laughs> aspect of NFL football. Come back, I'm going to have to silence you if you keep asking that. Hank Williams or, or and Johnny Cash, yeah, both are great. Bye, Zeke. Thanks for tuning in. What's Thanks your favorite out. horror franchise so far? Aliens not included. Okay. Predator? Is that horror? Mm-hmm. Is Predator a horror franchise? If or it's is not it Aliens, it's Predator. Because I'm not a huge fan of the other two that we've been watching so far. She has seen Castaway. She's actually seen it twice. She hated it the first time, loved it the second time. I did. Time. I hated Castaway the first time. It was so like, Mwah. And then he made me watch it again, and I really loved it. So I was just in a weird head headspace the first time I watched it by myself. Did I go through a dubstep phase? What's dubstep? Make sure I silence the right user this time. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't even know if that guy ever came back. <laughs> no, you pissed him off so bad. Sci-fi horror thriller. Alien versus Predator. No, Predator is action. Some people are saying, yes, it's horror. Some say it's action sci-fi. Um, let's see. Do I still hate Sawyer? Yep. We ha- she has not seen the burbs. Um, Fifth Element is one of our favorites. Favorite cartoons and TV shows from childhood? Real, Ghost- Real Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I remember watching Real Ghostbusters, the classic G.I. Joe, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, of course. Um... I liked Flintstones, The Jetsons. I watched a lot of Hanna Barbera back in the day. Scooby Doo. I watched a lot of Scooby Doo. Hanna Barbera, Godzilla, too. Our daughters love that. Mm-hmm. We have seen The Room. Favorite TV also show from seen Men in Black. Not cartoon TV show. Oh gosh, I loved Fresh Prince of Bel Air in like junior high, high school, right? Junior. High. I used to watch Snick. For all you 90s kids out there. Snick. Saturday Night Nickelodeon for the older crowd. Are You Afraid of the Dark? It's one of my favorite shows. Oh, I wouldn't watch it. It was too scary. Scary. That and uh, all that. Dubstep is what a migraine would sound like if it made sound. <laughs> I probably wouldn't like it then, huh? Judy Jetson, meow. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. We do not have a reaction for the room. We've we've watched that Rocky years before we ever boy. thought of starting a channel. Yogi Bear, I loved Yogi Bear. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> yes, TGIF Family Alex Matters. Alex Mack. I used to watch Alex Mack. I had a crush on her. Alex Mack is the girl from Ten Things I Hate About You, the younger sister. Oh, I don't know that one. Uh, freaking yes, Family Matters. I used to love Urkel so much. Have you seen I Am Legend with Will Smith? Yeah, good one. One of the scary movies she's actually seen. Yeah. She's not too scared of zombies. I didn't think it was a scary movie. I thought it was just like a zombie movie, and then it, I watched it, and it scared me. <laughs> zombie movies are supposed to be scary movies. They're a genre of horror. Mm, most of them don't scare me that bad. Boy Meets World is great. Yeah. Salute Your Shorts. Yep. That and yes. Hey Dude. Hey Dude and Salute Your Shorts. I have a Salute Your Shorts t-shirt. She also has a Nick and Night nice t-shirt. She I just, just got a Nick and Night t-shirt. You'll see it on uh, Monday's release is a new release. It's Reminiscence. Just came out on HBO Max. So if you haven't watched it and you got HBO Max, watch it before Monday so you can watch the reaction and 
understand what's going on. Clarissa explains it all, yeah. Used to watch that too. Can't remember her neighbor used to climb through the window with the ladder. Twenty eight days and weeks later is on our list. We've already watched True Detective, one of our favorite shows of all time. Wild and Crazy Kids. Yes, and um Legends of the Temple, right? Legends mm. of the Temple. It's a great one. Guts. Guts. And somebody just said that. <laughs> I, I did not read that. I, I said it and then I read it. Yeah, TGIF was like the greatest. I wish they still, they had something like that these days, right? Mm -hmm. like, they just didn't, just need to bring that back, TGIF. I did like that 70s show. Hello, Wisconsin. So yeah, we'll be watching Firefly and the Haunting series. And I've I've seen what dreams may come. I mm, it was weird. It's too too weird for me. Too out there. So the start of December we'll be watching a new TV show, and then the start of January after Dexter's New Blood ends, we'll be watching another TV show. So we're getting some, through some TV shows pretty quick. Lots of TV, you guys. Saved by the Bell. You classic. mean the TV? Saved by the All Bell. Right. I loved Saved by the Bell when I was younger. And then I went back to watch them recently. They're bad. They're, like, not good at all. <laughs> Tried watching the new one, too. Oh, that oh. one's really bad. Uh, Full House still kind of holds up, right? It's still yeah, pretty Full good. Still Fresh up. Prince of Bel-Air for sure holds up. But Saved by the Bell is not good when you watch it now. It's real sad. You've seen Beetlejuice, right? I have seen Beetlejuice, Somebody yeah. just uh, asked, last action hero is on our list. She's seen The Running Man, right? Or have you... I think I've seen bits and pieces of it. It's with Arnold, I know that. 24 got second on the poll. I'm hoping it wins the next one so we can watch it. What do you mean, Save of the Bill is bad? <laughs> Just the, the acting's not good. Were you watching, were you listening to a Save by the Bell podcast? I did listen to a Save by the Bell podcast for a little while. <clears throat> the Bundies? Oh, yeah, Married with Children. I that was okay. It wasn't my favorite show. Have you seen Baywatch, the TV show? We we're actually talking about that. That would be fun to do a reaction for. I've seen like maybe bits I and mean, pieces of episodes. Obviously, like, the, because it was syndicated, it was on TV for all ages. The time, yeah. But doing a run from start to finish of Baywatch would be flipping hilarious. Oh, Three's Company! I've been wanting to like rewatch Three's Company recently, actually, because it's so funny. Do we include Baywatch Nights in a Baywatch run? <laughs> Seinfeld. Home Improvement. Yes, Tim the Toolman Taylor. Home Improvement was awesome. I, used to, I guess so. That used to be one of my favorites. I'd watch it like all the time when it was on TBS. Yep, TBS. Longmire After was on school. our poll. By Yog. Yog? By Yog. They watch this on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I think it is. So, which Friday the 13th has been your favorite so far? One. Number one. Um, we just put up seven on Patreon. So, that will come out on Friday. We talk about how, my ranking in yeah. one of those, She I ranks think. those. She ranks the Friday the 13th. Or did we have that discussion no. off camera? No, that was during... We will be watching New Blood, yes. We have not seen Fringe. I've seen bits and... Uh, like the f first couple episodes of the first season, but we have not watched the whole series. Six is my favorite. We addressed that when we watched that. Hey Arnold! It's a great show. Do I anticipate liking Michael Myers more or less than Freddy and Jason? I anticipate I will like him more than Freddy, but less than Jason. But I don't know. The Office... One of my favorite She's shows. She's watched The Office like eight times all the way through. I do, when I <clears throat> don't know what to watch, I just put The Office on and laugh. Our our daughter loves The Office, too. She's five, but she thinks it's hilarious. I think she just laughs when you laugh. I know. She just laughs because I'm laughing. I don't like killer movies, so I watch your videos to get through them. Glad we can enjoy it together, then. <laughs> That's what she said. How many people got the that's what she said joke in uh, <laughs> Suicide Squad? 
Mm, it was the subtle one because I felt like it matched my look. That because I was thinking it, Michael was thinking it. It was perfect. Shit's Creek. Yes, I liked Shit's Creek a lot. He didn't watch, watch your it, mouth. Um, but I liked it a lot. Um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. We actually just finished watching that a couple of months ago. Just before we started this, actually, we watched Curb. Yeah. We binged watched it all. That made you like Seinfeld more. Yeah, I did. I I always watch Seinfeld like after school on T on TBS and stuff, and I just never really loved it. They're always because you were young. They're, probably they're always just kind of mad or yelling. I don't know. They have that that New York style personality that I just wasn't understanding. Um, but then we watched Curb Your Enthusiasm, and it just makes me appreciate Seinfeld more. So I think if I watch Seinfeld again, I'd like you it a lot see more. His humor. Yeah, I understand the, this, the, the humor style. Seinfeld's yep. jokes. Count Dragon, sorry for the spam. I'm new to the ch stream chats. Also, there seems to be a lag tune when I send the comment and when you see it. Apologies. <laughs> I have slow internet. We just, no worries. We just did Arrested minutes. Development also. Yeah, we, we just watched we that. We all of Arrested Development, too. Yeah. Good. Pete and Pete. You remember Pete and Pete? I say no touching a lot. Pete and Pete. I used to watch Pete and Pete. Wasn't there a third Pete, too? Brandon Collins. Welcome, welcome to You Mean the Movies family. Thank you. Psych or Scrubs? I never watched Scrubs. I recently... Well, in the last few years, I started watching Psych because I had never watched it either. So I think I've maybe watched the first season of Psych. And then I got busy doing other things and forgot it. Pete and Pete is where I, I got a crush on Michelle Trattenberg from that show. Eric Narcomi, thank you. Welcome to You Mean the Movies. Welcome to the family. Ozark is on our list. That's a good Jason Bateman show. Aqua Teen or Space Ghost? Space Ghost. She's never seen Aqua Teen. Space Ghost is a classic. You talking about the, his talk show or the actual classic TV show? Cartoon. Charmed. I've seen episodes of Charmed, but never never the whole thing. Scariest thing we've ever done. Scariest thing I ever did? Marrying this guy. Terrifying. <laughs> Anything BBC is a copyright nightmare? Well, I'll take note of that. Did we ever watch Even Stevens? I did, yep. The neighbor Bacon, was that his name? It's Bacon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 13th Warriors on our list. That's one of those underrated cult classics. With a great score. Buffy. I never watched Buffy. That's something I want to watch, though. I think we talked about watching it on on here, but... It's a commitment, because that's like... It is a long... 300 episodes. Oh, Beans, not Bacon. <laughs> right? His neighbor was Beans. <laughs> Got it wrong. Bacon is what Charlie calls <laughs> yeah. my friend. Yeah. Beans. Never really watched Archer. Tree Broken House Lizard, though. Uh, Broken Lizard does... Um... Jeff the Killer, welcome. It's a cop movie. Why am I having a brain fart this A cop movie? Super Troopers. Ooh. Broken Lizard. And did we ever watch Club Dread from Bro Broken Lizard? Wormwolf, thank a, you for the five dollars. Scary comedy that's on the at the resort on an island club where there's a killer. Did we ever watch that? What? Club Dread. Did I ever make you so. watch that? I don't think so. Doesn't sound familiar. <clears throat> there's a. It's the same guys that are in Super Troopers, and there's a killer. Okay. It's kind of a scary movie comedy. Okay. No. You don't remember that? No, doesn't so. sound familiar. I remember if I remember made you watch it. Dragon Slayer. Tacoma FD is fun. I love Independence Day. Love it. Love Will Smith. Huge fan. Love just about everything he does. Uh, Wild Wild West, one of my favorites. <laughs> it's like one of his worst, but it's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, Tacoma FD, is that what you just said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just watched that not too long ago. It's so funny. Club Dread is so bad. Please don't. It's so bad, it's good, though. <laughs> We're going to watch Halloween on in october so stay tuned for that of course late 90s wwf no late 90s wcw is better diluted this is like a 
a DC versus Marvel sort yeah, of that's conversation. A DC versus Marvel. <laughs> Favorite worst movie. Beer Fest is good too. Have you ever seen Beer Fest? I have. Twister. I love Twister. There's the NWO for life. Oh no, Wild Wild West. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Wolf back. I love Wild Wild West. A wicked wah wah. A wicked wicked wah. A wicked wah wah. It's good. She's seen Men in Black. Oh yeah, Men in Black's the best. Raw versus Nitro. And I love watching those old Raw the the documentary series Raw versus Nitro on the WWE channel. Those are fun. He subscribed to the WWE channel just to watch it. Just to watch it because he wanted to. The fact that they have all the old WCW Nitro on WWE channel, awesome. Have you ever watched Mystery Science Theater? We didn't get WCW in India back then, so I watched WWF. (laughs) It's awesome. It's on Peacock now. What? WWE channels on Peacock? Cool. You sure? Or are you talking about something else? Do we watch UFC? No. We've watched a few fights, but not... Best ever worst movie? Big Trouble Little Channel. That's coming soon. It's one of our requested movies that's on our list to get to. It's a worst movie? It's like... You'll understand it, what that comment means when you watch okay. it. <laughs> Rowdy Roddy Piper. We should do a reaction to The Room. We've already both seen it. I've seen it multiple times. So that yeah. would be fun to do commentary for. I don't know. Wormwolf, welcome. Thank you for the five dollars. Did we miss that? No, I, I got it. Oh, I you told did. him. Okay. Troll oh, too. Oh gosh, it's rolling in fast. I'm having a hard time keeping up here. For America, they basically moved WW Network to Peacock. The rest of the world still uses WW Network. Really? We had Peacock for a while. We did. We switched it out for Discovery Plus. We just kind of rotate, just yeah. depending on my mood. We'll switch to Paramount when Yellowstone comes out. Exactly. We actually had Peacock to watch Paramount, or to watch Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, the room is like probably the worst movie ever, but it's so it's bad it's good. Yeah. Is it really hard editing movie reactions and worrying about copyright issues? Yes, it is very anxiety. We just had a copyright strike for Dexter, but we got that taken care of. We've had copyright claims before. The worst is, um, like we do have pets. We have a dog. We've How had we- this. I've had this issue uploading our Nightmare on the Elm Street movies lately. A very bad like death metal or hip-hop song will take a movie quote like welcome to prime time bitch from freddy or there was another one from i love soul food from part four both of those were hit with copyright strikes not strikes but the little claims claims saying we're using a song when in fact it's the song that rips a sample from the movie in the intro of their song and it's like i don't even know how they're able to say that's their song like it's it's like musical artists that have 50 followers on twitter kind of thing so it's those are annoying that guy yellowstone is so good we watched it just recently it's really good you'll love it yeah yellowstone is awesome i don't know how you can't love it actually it's so major league is the greatest sports comedy movie ever major league is great i would i would probably agree with that it's one of the best comedies ever so One of my funny. favorite characters from Major League is in 24. The actor. Okay. Dennis Haysbert. Sampling is a curse. Well, our dog's name is Howdy. He's the cutest little thing. He's probably sleeping on the couch. He's, yeah, probably in the other room sleeping. He likes to sleep on the couch while we're in here. Wild thing. You make my heart sing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have watched Rift Tracks. He made me watch, oh gosh, I think he made me watch Twilight Rift Tracks. He's on the guest bed. He's laying in the bed. 
That guy. <laughs> Jabu, yeah. Like, oh, the door's open. I'm sleeping on the bed. Nice jean shorts. <laughs> I've actually seen some Rift Tracks live. Went to Mothra Rift Tracks live when it was in theaters. The Sandlot, yeah, it's a great, great movie. Remember the Titans. My favorite is probably A League of Their Own. You like my George Eric? Any Given Sunday, yeah, I've seen that. It's pretty good. Pretty darn good. I mean, Steve Austin does rock George, but... I have seen, seen Slapshot. Have you seen Slapshot? Mm -hmm. It's funny. I own it. It's good. Uh, Mystery Alaska, one of my favorite hockey movies. Prison Break is on our list. The Girl Next Door. We we talked about that recently. The Girl Next Door with uh, Alicia Cuthbert. Alicia Cuthbert. Mm -hmm. She's hot, you guys. Yeah. I like that movie a lot. It's on her list like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Hmm? Girl porn. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Girl Next Door. Girl porn. I love it. Girl porn. Even though it's a movie made for guys, obviously. Actually, it's kind of a chick flick. With It's a love story. Yeah. yeah. You used to watch A League of Their Own over and over? Oh, me too. Gosh. That guy and I, are, we're, we're tight right now. Wildcats! Yes, with Goldie Hawn. I just bought that on Blu-ray, actually, not too long ago. I love that movie. A lot of reactors have been breaking movie reactions into two parts lately. and drives you crazy waiting between them. Unfortunately, Matt, Watchmen <laughs> will be two it. parts. I had to edit it into two parts. If, it, if I can get it under 40 minutes, it'll be one part. But Watchmen, since it's a three three and change movie, it there we had fun with Watchmen, though. Did Watchmen, we? Watchmen, yeah. I liked it. I don't remember yeah, what I re it, how I reacted to it. but It's entertaining. Yeah, we've seen Slapshot. It's classic. Watchmen will be out next Saturday. That's another thing. If we do do two parts, um, quick poll in the chat. Do you guys prefer... Obviously, was it Michael that said it? Or Matt? Um, do you prefer to have both parts out on the same day? Or would you rather... My vote was same space? day. Actually, just because it's nicer that way. Then you don't have to wait. There's a business reason for spreading them out. Sure. Because if you do a two-part and you release them at the same time, only one of them will hit the algorithm. So you won't get new viewers. But sometimes, who gives a shit about the algorithm? Yeah. It's more convenient. Just to being upfront and honest with you, though, yeah. about the business reason for doing it. To, to try and bring in new people, if you hit that second version on a separate day, somebody's going to be like, oh, they're seeing it for our channel for the first time with the second version. They'll go back and watch the first version, right? And then maybe they'll become a new subscriber. Enjoy the fan. But all of you guys like are saying, maybe a day or two apart, You perhaps weeks apart, says Joseph. Is that sarcasm? Yeah, that was sarcasm. Had to have been. I mean, when we did Lord of the Rings, we did a, like an afternoon or evening release and then a morning release the next day. Somebody's asking, so I'm showing. That's our Sawyer score. Oh, that's spoilers, though. Spoilers. For what's coming up. If you've been watching Lost, you know what's coming up. All right? The Long Con. So, lucky the you guys. The Long Con is coming up. I think it's the next episode I edit. So. If you're here tonight, you get the spoiler. That's where... If you watched... Uh... Do you ever find you're afraid to say you hated a much revered classic? Revered classic? <laughs> Second part's released first, and then the first part's the next week? Manuel, yes, I... I always am a little hesitant to say when I hate something when I know that everybody else loves it, but I do anyways. What? Like with Sawyer, oh, yeah. also like she gets a lot of crap for giving Sawyer. Sawyer I hate him, but negative points and being like giving him like you hate his face. I try to be honest. She about is literally it. the only woman I've ever said who I've ever seen that says Josh Holloway has an ugly face. I, it's not him, it's his, his face. It's that that face that he makes that's... His, his angry or hurt face. That face is ugly. I don't like it. Because when he smiles and those dimples come out, he's a handsome dude. Have we ever seen dolls? I don't think I don't, so. I don't think so. I don't think we've seen dolls. I've seen it. She has. Hashtag Sawyer spoiler. 
Uh, yeah, he's a huge X Files fan. I I watched most of. She them. watched the mythology episodes to get caught up for, for, for like him. watching the mo- new movies and stuff and the new series. Because he because I love him and he wanted me to. So I watched X Files every week from age nine to ni- to eighteen, all nine seasons. I never missed a week. If I did, I recorded them on the VA- VCR. A Knight's Tale. Love that movie. Just bought it on digital copy recently. Please, if you hate something, say so and go hard. I usually do, and then I get a lot of hate in the chat, and then I'm like, great. I should just tell people what they want to hear, but then I say, no, nah, that's stupid. Eric says, any plans to watch new versions of It? We talked about this last live stream. Yes, eventually. It will happen. <laughs> it will happen. But... I think we'll watch classic part one, new part one, and then classic part two, new part two. Never seen Greasy Strangler, Grandpa. Don't know what that means. We'll watch all four of them. The Exiles for the win. Somebody earlier asked about uh, musicals. I like musicals. Not sure we'd react to any, but... She has not seen the creep shows, no. We haven't watched The Stand yet, either. I actually just pre-ordered uh, both Stand miniseries, or series, because I think it's coming out, there's a new bundle with both of them on Blu-ray or 4K or something like that coming out. It comes out in October. Original Unsolved Mysteries, my favorite when I was younger. Uh, it is definitely delayed. He's now saying same day. <laughs> I see where you're saying with the delay. You'll see this message in ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I we I we started the Unsolved Mysteries Netflix reboot. We we watched a couple episodes of it. I think mm-hmm. it so, wasn't very good. It's not the same without that guy. It's true. And Melissa was never seen again. If you have any information on Melissa's whereabouts, contact us number. We're now. gonna watch Scream after it's a horrible we, impression. After we get through Halloween, right? Scream's coming after that or mm-hmm. something. Yeah, there'll be a couple. Uh, like we'll have to watch Carrie. Favorite like musicals or songs in movies. I love Mamma Mia. It's a great one. Number one, not so much number two. If you watch the Friday the Thirteenth TV show, somebody asked about that. I actually just ordered Friday the TV. Uh, it was on sale for like thirty bucks, all three seasons. So, but we don't have no plans to react to it. I remember watching it on Sci Fi back in the day. Nick, yeah, we're going to do Halloween in October. Not all of them, but four of them, right? This October we'll do five of them. Five. And then four the next two years. October is Halloween season. Some actors do it for shorter movies like Airplane. Yeah, I can't imagine, like, like Friday the 13th is short. They're hour and 20, hour 30 minutes. I couldn't re- Hundred two parts for those. No. Season of the Witch. Yeah, that's Halloween three. Quantum Leap. Grandpa. Never stop being honest. By the way, the Greasy Strangler is a classic that might be requested along the way. Oh, All right. Greasy Strangler. I've never Sounds heard gross. It. Sounds like a sex move. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa, for the contribution. I, I might give the, the missus a Greasy Strangler later tonight. <laughs> no, he won't be. <laughs> he definitely won't be. <laughs> How are you able to read the comments since they go too fast? Luck. I, we, we're missing half of them. <laughs> you saw yours. <laughs> Howard the Duck. He made me watch that not like uh, a couple years ago. It's pretty funny. Howard the Duck. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is such a great Thanksgiving movie, right? Love that. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's one of the few persons that actually liked Howard the Duck. And I think it's because... The rain's in it from Back to the Future, right? Oh, yeah, it could be. What's her name? Um, I had a crush on her. Can't remember. Episode. Can't remember. You think I look like her sometimes. Mm. She re- rejected your greasy strangler. Yeah. The Hard duck had nipples. No. There Hard is a no. duck with nipples in Howard the Duck. 
Home Alone, such a great Christmas movie. Love it so much. Not with those jokes, you won't. <laughs> Leah Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, yes. That's her name. Good job, Marcus. She Leah Thompson. I feel like is Steve. is like eighties Rachel Craig. McAdams. The eighties Rachel McAdams. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good comparison. I think. They look similar. <laughs> meow. Cleon with a meow. I love it. Leon the Professional, I've already seen. It's so good. I thought I was the only one who liked Howard the Duck. <laughs> I, I actually loved it, which is why I made her watch it. Do I like podcasts? I love podcasts. Right now I'm listening to some fantasy football podcasts because I'm trying to get ready for fantasy football season. Um, But I also love like murder mystery podcasts and uh, The Office Ladies. I'm hooked on that right now. I love them. And then depends on my mood. Some days I'll listen to Armchair Expert, depending on who he has on. Have you ever seen Old School? Yeah. Frank the Tank? Yeah. You my boy, Blue. We're going streaking! <laughs> Come on. You can bring your green hat. Let's go. <laughs> can you react to Funny Games 2007? Is Underrated. Underrated. We gotta find some comedies that you haven't seen. Too, yeah, we right? need some comedy. The, my problem with the comedies is my laugh is good in little amounts. I always thought I had a great laugh, and then he edited together "Coming to America," and I realized, wow, it's really annoying when you listen to, listen your laugh to it for over and minutes. over and over again. <laughs> it's not ideal. Um, so I don't know how many comedies we'll do, but she has a really cute comedies. laugh in uh, the Watchmen reaction, though. There's, oh. You had a cute laugh moment, and I was like, that was, that's a cute laugh. Oh, well, he's married to me, so... I was smitten by it. I was like, oh, that's a cute laugh. Have I ever listened to Something Scary podcast? No. Will we so. ever do a trailer reactions? We are planning to do a trailer reaction for Dexter New Blood once we finish season eight. Mm -hmm. no. But for other trailers... I just, I have a hard enough time reacting to two hour long movie sometimes I can't imagine I would have a lot to say about a two minute a two trailer, minute trailer <laughs> yeah be a short video fun fact I watched Friday the 13th before knowing about hockey then I saw hockey for the first time and wondered why the players were wearing Jason masks <laughs> <laughs> that's funny X-Man <laughs> everyone thinks their own laugh sounds weird oh well, she thinks she has a good laugh. I think I have a good laugh, but then I, I heard it over and too. over and over again. But like, like when you string good. it together for twenty minutes straight because you're watching a comedy, yeah, I don't know. It's not ideal. Maybe when it's not your laugh, when it's them watching you laugh, it's different. I think even they would get tired of it. Scary stories to tell in the dark. So I mean, those are those classic books that with the. Creepy drawings. I don't know that. They remade. They made them into movies. I've never seen the movie. Trailers can give a lot of stuff away sometimes. Yeah, that's another reason why we don't do a lot of trailers. Because uh, I don't know a lot about these movies going in. So. It's a horror, maybe creep. And creep too. We'll look him up. Shadrach, the project. Thank you for the two dollars. Jackie Brown, Tarantino movie. Have you reacted airplane? No, because we've both seen it multiple times. Mrs. Movies has a great everything. She does send more paramedics. That's nice. Just wondering how you know that. <laughs> <laughs> you seen Police Academy movies? Yes, love Police Academy. Ace Ventura is amazing. I quote it quite frequently. And then Rush Hour. Hudsucker Proxy. You've seen that one. Tim Robbins and the Who Hoop. Have you watched that? No. Oh, it's a Coen Brothers movie. We're going to have to watch that. Don't know. Do I like stories of gladiators? Yeah, I think so. I've liked all the gladiator movies we've watched. Creep Show's on our list. She hasn't seen it. The Paper. I've seen The Paper. I don't remember liking it that much. Step but it's been Brothers. a while. We recently watched Step Brothers again. We did, just like and we were two like, weeks ago. we watched it, we were like, man, we should have recorded this, because it was like watching it for the first time. Yeah, again. I hadn't, I'd only seen it like We watched it on before. the couch without recording. I saw it once, and I did not like it very much. I and thought it was kind of stupid. And she was laughing her ass off. Just, yeah, lost it. was like it. a month ago. It was pretty awesome. 
Dexter Newblood filmed in the town next to me. A friend of mine is a paramedic, and he got to be in the scene that had a crime scene. Can't wait. Ooh, That's awesome. That's cool. Dr. She's Strange. a morning bird. I'm a night owl. Yep. But I'm becoming a morning bird because school is about starts to start. Yeah. In like two weeks. A week. I, I get up early, and I go to work early. I get a lot done in the morning. I'm very productive in the morning. I have a hard time so. going to bed before midnight, so... Yeah, so I I go to work early. He's got to start getting up early to get, uh, to get our daughter on the bus for school. Multiplicity. <laughs> yeah, the Steve, right? Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve. Pete is good, Steve. <laughs> Love that movie. So good. We will be doing the Evil Dead remake. Final Destination is on our list. Big chill. I saw The Big Chill in college. I watched it. I rented it and watched it by myself. I'm not a fan. I didn't like it. Did I, have we ever watched Blood Simple? That's a Coen Brothers first movie. It's kind of like Fargo. I don't think so. Blood Simple. It's about the concept. Blood Simple means it's when somebody kills somebody. They go. It's like you go Blood Simple. And it's like you get stupid because you've murdered somebody and you're like freaking out. About. Okay. We've seen Dexter go blood simple. So yeah, no, I've never seen it. Like, what do I do with the body? What? What? what how? Do, I'm gonna get caught. It's like the anxiety of murder is what blood simple is. There's a. It's like a Fargo kind of movie. Blood simple is because it's Coen Brothers. I actually took a Coen Brothers class in college where I watched. I think all the Coen Brothers up until. Were you I alone think in the college? Lady killers. Was I alone in college? Yes, I was alone in college. I mean, I had roommates, but I didn't have a boyfriend in college or anything. We have kids. We have two daughters. Yep, two girls. They're the best. It, what movie did we watch where you can one of them? There's like, a couple creeps in. <laughs> there's a lost couple lost episodes. A couple lost there. episodes. She creeps in through the door. We don't know she's that, there. She's lost is like the only show we'll watch during the day sometimes. So she'll be awake. No, there was one night. Maybe we there was wa- a Dexter. We were watching something at night and she creeped in like a real weirdo. Oh, yeah. It wasn't a scary movie. Terminator 2, Dumb and Dumber, such a great classic movie. Uh, I did see somebody mention something about Almost Heroes. I love Chris Farley. I've seen all of his stuff, and that one's hilarious. Have you ever seen Fletch with Chevy Chase? Yeah. Okay. Just sure. He's got a basketball hoop in his apartment. That's awesome. What was your click in high school? Cheerleaders, hmm. goth, stoners? I was... I was a jock. I was a jock, too. To sell with Jennifer Lopez. I could drift between clicks, though. I think I could probably drift between. Her, you, your I was school was a really small school, so there weren't really like clicks. twelve people in her class, if that. So 17. there's no seventeen. Seventeen. So there's no really. I had like a school of like three hundred, so there was clicks. Uh, yeah, there weren't a ton of clicks in in my school, but I was a I was a geeky geeky jock, so I could drift. I was a jock that also played in jazz band, so. That explains it. All of the athletes were in band. All of the non-athletes were in PE. That's like just how it worked at our school because we got PE credits by playing sports. So we didn't have to do PE, so we did band instead. <laughs> uh, are we going to watch The Walking Dead? No, we've already seen it. Well, we've seen most of them. I don't think we yeah, saw the last two seasons maybe, but... It's been a while. There's like 15 seasons at this point, so. Cleon, I've seen Almost Heroes. I still love Chris Farley. It's fine. Ever seen Memento? Have I seen Memento? I don't think so. I It you would, would not have that. been something that I watched by myself, I don't think. What year did y'all graduate? I'm going to keep the mystery alive and not tell you. 
You already said your birthday this year, so how old you were. So I'm 33, strange. yeah, so do the math, I guess. Yeah. And I'm older. <laughs> well, lots, so lots of ICP. Who would win in a game of ping pong? Me. She would. For sure. I love ping pong, you guys. I've been trying to get a ping pong table in this house for years. We actually saw Blade Runner 2049 in theaters. Mystery Men is on our list. I was actually surprised when she said she didn't see, she hadn't seen it. Yeah, no, never seen it. Karate Kid, we've seen all all of three of those. Mm -hmm. There's probably more four of them now, right? But well, there's the new Karate Kid. I haven't seen the new Karate the, Kid. I don't think. There, there's the three with Ralph Macchio, right? and then there's the new Karate Kid, which had Million Dollar Baby in it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What is her name? Swank. Swank. Hillary Swank. Swank. Hillary Swank. Hillary Swank. Mm -hmm. And then there's the new one with Jackie Chan and. Will Smith. Who would win air hockey? Oh, me. Yeah, probably him. Air hockey champ and foosball <laughs> champ. Okay, I got a scar on my eyebrow from winning a foosball tournament when I was like eight. I'm not good at foosball at all. Not good. Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie. It's on our shelf. There is no great ping pong movie. Uh, Force Gump, but you're right, it's not. And there's not enough ping pong in it to call it a great ping pong movie. Isn't there a ping pong movie with uh, Will Ferrell? <laughs> no. I don't think so. Ping pong is awesome. I've only played beer pong, though. <laughs> uh, ping pong is the greatest. Do we play video games? He does. I do not. I'm not great at video games. I never... He plays PC I'm games. Back. I gotta drain the lizard. All right. He plays PC games on the computer. I don't, and I could never figure out how to move my head and my body independently on the controller. So not good at video games. Um. Let's see, balls of oh, balls of fury. You're right. There is a ping pong game, a ping pong movie. He's gonna love that you guys proved him right. I forgot about that. It's kind of weird, right? Balls of Fury. So I have um, Christopher Walken in it. Does it? Can't remember. Good night. Great stream. Thanks, Alexander. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out tonight. Thanks for the. Thanks for the contribution. Master of the Universe. Jorts. Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. I think he made me watch that. I, it, it's not something I would watch by myself, but... Forrest Gump is a good is a chocolate movie. So true. The Mist. Yeah, The Mist is on our list. We're going to watch that at some point. He's wearing shorts with a cowboy hat. Uh, jorts. He's wearing jorts with a cowboy hat. How long are you going to be on? We'll probably be on till midnight. Yeah, we didn't want to do midnight last, week, last, last month, so. Christopher Walken, they all called it Balls of Fury. This is the one you're talking about. Yeah, Balls of Fury. I, Isn't Rachel McGadden's in that, too? I don't remember. True Blood. I never watched True Blood. That's the vampire movie on from HBO, right? Um, never watched it. I'd be interested in watching it, though. I think it's like a, a girl's kind of vampire movie, yeah? Or TV show? No, measure my Nice legs. Thank you, I grew them myself. <clears throat> Hi from Australia. Travelers on Netflix is great. What is your exact birthday? Never, never tell you. I don't even know that. He can't remember. My sister's is the day before. I always get them mixed up. Yeah. He wished me happy birthday on the wrong date this week. This week. So. I did that as a joke. Oh, sure. Sure. Dark. We've seen a lot of requests for dark. It's one one seventeen a.m. Well, Jason, thanks for staying up with us. Oh, my goodness. About Time was actually one of our first date movies. One of the first yeah, chick it was. flicks that it was we the, went to. It was, I think it was the second movie that we went to. Yeah. We went to a chick flick. And we both loved it. Yeah, it was very good. It's a good time travel movie with Rachel McAdams. Mm-hmm. Both of our free passes. <laughs> and if 
I was living in the 80s, Leah Thompson would be my free pass. You guys make me feel a lot younger than I should. He would have graduated high school when I was five. And you would have when I was like nine. <laughs> Why haven't we reacted to Pitch Black? It's, we're, okay, so we have plans. Like, November is a month where we were talking about it. And we're gonna. it's going to be a thanks to our Patreon family month. Where every single movie, Monday and Friday, other than Serenity. Because that will come out and because we'll finish up Firefly. So there will be like eight Mondays and Fridays in November where all the movies that we watch that month will be picked by our Patreons. So nothing is on the schedule for November. And that's kind of to make up for True, Halloween. Dude. True Blood is a little them. girly, but not too bad, and a lot of sex thrown in for the guys. So it is a girl's movie then, right? True Blood? Yeah. Yeah, True Blood is a girl show. A girl's TV show, yeah. He's saying that the sex was thrown in for the guys. It's for the girls. And then one of our polls in the upcoming month, I'm going to throw trilogies on it. So Riddick, Blade. What are jorts? Return of the Living Dead. (laughs) What are jorts? Jorts are jean shorts. These are jorts. He made them himself. Cut the legs right off. (laughs) The comfort... Of denim. Band of Brothers. I want to see Band of Brothers. I've never seen it. Band of Brothers is on our list. We'll be watching it. We'll probably watch it turn the the new year. Are we going to do a lot of Christmas movies in December? That's the plan. That's the hope. We're going to do some Christmas movies. Matrix and Christmas. Marcus, thanks for the great reaction vids. You guys are great and hope you all have a good night. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks for coming, Marcus. Thanks for all the the fun stuff. I don't think that's the same Marcus. Oh. Well, thanks for coming, Marcus. Marcus sends all the movies and okay. Woohoo, nice legs. Thank you. Yeah. Jackass movies. Count Dracula. There's a new Jackass movie. Good night. Out. Thanks for coming. Gotta get a fanny pack and go full Steve Austin. I actually have a fanny pack. I have a Twitch fanny pack. It's mine now. She steals it from me. I like it a lot. Or the TwitchCon though. Fanny packs are super practical. Die Hard is a great Christmas movie that we watch every Christmas Eve. We've every done Christmas it since Eve. we've met. Mm-hmm. True Blood is not a girl's show. It's not? All right. Well, I'm going to make it a girl's show. Did I ever play Red Dead Redemption 2? I did. Stream, closely, streamed it live on Twitch. This is actually a Red Dead mouse pad that Rockstar sent me. Why well, it's red. How's Wentworth? I've actually streamed Red Dead from the Rockstar booth at TwitchCon. He turned on his hot cowboy persona. <laughs> it's for boys and girls. That's right, True Blood. It's going to be for boys Unisex. and girls. Unisex. Alright. Fanny back in George. <laughs> the prophecy is true. American Horror Story. We've talked about that. We've talked about it. They're up to ten seasons now. That was a lot. They're only like ten episodes. That's a commitment. It's only like ten episodes. We are going to watch the Matrix trilogy super soon, actually. In December, when the new movie comes out on HBO Max, three weeks before that, we'll be watching Matrix. Never heard of Wentworth. Best TV show i ever seen. Mm, all right. Rianu Keeves, thank you for the... Do can we get a role reversal show. with Mr. asking all the questions and then Mrs. shaking her head and shrugging her shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Reminiscence was kind of like that. I feel like if we watch Pride and Prejudice, it might be like that. David, thanks for coming. Sleep good. I think Pride and Prejudice is the one movie she's seen that I haven't. You haven't seen it? Yeah. We might do like a We're Valentine's Day it. role reversal or something like that. That or... would be good. I'll wear the cowboy hat. What, what, what <laughs> will I t-shirt. wear? You wear a t-shirt. You're going to wear the hat phones? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Got to make some white Russians. Somebody asked us to do a I'll whiskey the, shot. Is that when I sit on the green screen too? Yeah. Wentworth is an Australian show about a women's prison. Huh. Hmm. Do some whiskey shots. Got some fireball downstairs, but 
<clears throat> Gremlins, we watched, we actually were upset because I made her watch Gremlins for the first time this past Christmas. And I wish we would have saved it for our channel, which we started like a month later. Because I just saw it first time. It's pretty good. She liked it. Which one do you like most, Dexter or Lost? Dexter, so far. She's watched more of Dexter, though. Name a, a movie you love that others hate. Son-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> you always say that. <laughs> Such a great movie. You guys gonna go all night long? Yeah. All night long. All night. All night. Have you ever seen The Goonies? Yes. I feel like if we ever do a Goonies reaction, it'll be like watching it for the first time with our daughters. Because that would be fun. Yeah. They haven't watched Goonies. It's kind of scary. It has some scary parts in it. Ranch or nacho cheese Ranch Doritos? Like Cooler Ranch or nacho cheese Doritos? Um, I like both, so it just depends on the day. We just recently found, I just recently found some limited edition Lay's potato chips that are cool cooler ranch. ranch flavored. You guys, they're the shit. They're pretty awesome. Also, check these out. Funyun Wavy Lay's. Funyun flavored Wavy Lay's. These She's are, like wavy lays. these like are amazing. So, I'm going to say nacho cheese on the Dorito, but I'm going to say Cooler Ranch on, on a Lay's potato chip. A, a movie one of you likes, but the other hates. There's a lot of those. Oh, there's a lot. He likes a lot of stuff that I hate. Yeah. I like a lot of stuff that he hates, yeah, like Tanny. Tanny. <laughs> Actually, Tommy's not. The, the other... Sandra Bullock and McBride. Oh, yeah, that one is pretty bad. Uh, I don't know, The Heat. The Heat. The Heat, the heat is good. I like The Heat. It's where she does this against the window. It's pretty awesome. Am I allowed to do that? On... I just did. So. Who are your favorite non-reaction YouTubers? The Cheeto Lays are okay, but if you have the Funyun ones, and then you go to have the Cheeto one, it's like nothing compared to the Funyun. Brisket point or flat? Do you like Pitch Perfect? I love Pitch Perfect, yeah. She has not seen Hills of Eyes. Brisket point or flat? Ooh. Send more paramedics. If, if anybody, actually, if you have a question about a horror movie that you think if we haven't reacted to it on the channel, it's most likely she hasn't seen it. Only a few that she's seen. I don't know a good answer to that brisket question. Vikings was just on our TV uh, uh, poll. We have not seen it. I like meat. I don't know what a brisket tip or point versus the flat is. We don't have a lot of good barbecue around here. I love Return to Oz. Yeah, you watched that, right? Yeah. That's a movie I love that she hates, probably. Yeah, I don't like Wizard of Oz stuff. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Absolutely. Uh, we've seen Star Wars. Love Star Wars. All of them. Doritos and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Together? That's weird. Have you seen a movie called Brawl 99? Movie uh, Cell, Cell Brawl 99? No. More kids in the future. No, we're done with kids. We thought we would uh, just leave it at two girls. We don't have plenty. much room in the house for room anymore. I'd probably like a flat better than a point then. I like my brisket a little leaner. Total Recall's on our list. Salem's Lot's on our list. Silent Hill's on our list. You look like you'd be around good barbecue. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Turns out you can wear a cowboy hat anywhere. I mean, we have some good barbecue spots, but we've been to them. They weren't that. Good. They weren't that good when we went. We're not in the south, so I imagine barbecue is a lot better in the southern part of the country. Favorite beer? I like a Hefeweizen. 
I don't prefer beer. Good old wheat beers. She's not seen Sleepwalkers. I have, though. Tortilla chips and French onion dip? I have French onion dip downstairs, actually. You do. Should we try it right now? I'll hope it was ranch. Tortilla chips and French onion? You've never tried that? No, have you? I probably have. It seemed like that out of a combination. Who's the better cook? The only cook. He we are your new favorite YouTube channel, Swifty. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying us. It's the most embarrassing thing that you've ever worn. Jorts. No. Oh. <laughs> I wore a flippin' Ewok costume on one of our reactions. That's true. That's what? not even the most embarrassing. <laughs> What's your max bench press? <laughs> I actually had my school... Uh, record for my weight class of bench press in high school so um do it 245 french onion dip favorite steak and why is it a ribeye <laughs> yours is actually a sirloin mine's a sirloin <clears throat> i don't i've had guinness was my thing Is there a movie that we won't watch because it's too old or maybe the special effects aren't great? Mm. Probably not. We've watched Mandalorian. That's one of those shows that we'll put a, we won't have a reaction to. It's one of our enjoy on the couch shows. Where did the Mr. Attend Film School? The Los Angeles Film School in LA. Right across, it was like down the street from the CNN building. It was years ago. She didn't say where she was going, did she? Justified's on our list. I actually bought the whole set. I've seen Devil's Advocate. She has not. Clash of the Titans old school would be fun to watch. Short Circuit we've both seen. Love Johnny Five. The original thing from the other world. I, she hasn't seen it. I have. Howling 1 and 2 are on the list. Sopranos is actually on our list to watch TV shows. We've both never seen it. Fear Street we will get to. A Serbian film. We've seen that brought up a bunch. We've also been told don't not, watch it. Not to watch it. <laughs> And I actually wikipedia it, and it sounds like it's banned in multiple countries, and I don't think that's something you want to put on YouTube as a reaction to that movie. Was having children scary? Yeah. Most terrifying thing you'll ever do. Yeah. But, worth it. Alright, you ready for this? <laughs> I don't know why this would be so surprising. Mmm. That is good. Hmm. I think I like it better on a potato chip. But... Yeah. I feel like I've had French onion soup with tortilla chips in it. That's tortilla soup. That's different. Oh, okay. Was it painful on a scale of 1 to 10, having a baby? For me, no. Uh, not at the time. She had the cesarean way. I had two C-sections, so... So they numb me up real good. Mork and Mindy. The dip is French onion. Somebody just told us to do French onion dip and tortilla chips. The number 23 with Jim Carrey would be fun. It's a good scary movie with Jim Carrey. Is cereal soup? No. Well, if you warm it up and it gets soggy, yeah. Baldy Lock says do not watch a Serbian film. <laughs> Please. We're probably not going to watch a Serbian film. Seen any Argentinian movies? Didn't know there were it's, Argentinian uh, well, movies. There's movies from all countries, babe. Jeez. <laughs> Kidding. She's watched Sixth Sense. Did you actually watch it? Wait, the band? Didn't you say you watched Sixth Sense at school? Yeah, in band class. It's the worst. It gave me nightmares for years. Years, you guys. Years. Oh, my popcorn's right here. I've been 
It's spicy, so I've been eating it sparingly. How spicy? It's pretty spicy. You're gonna need a drink. You start piling it in, and you're like, oh, shit, I gotta stop. Green olives and vanilla ice cream? Are you messing with me, Jesse? Sounds really weird. If your shirt isn't tucked in your pants, are your pants tucked into your shirt? If your shirt has a band on the bottom of it, yes. Like elastic or something. But if it's a loose shirt, no. Can't really tuck something in that's not tight. Was I in band camp? Nope. I went to band camp one time. La Bamba? I'm not, I don't think I've ever seen La Bamba. Yeah, the Chucky TV series is coming out in October. I was thinking about... But from what I hear... I hear the Ch Chucky follows the continuity of all the movies. So we'd have to go through like 10 movies to be caught up for that. Oh, Sunshine. We gotta watch that. A good sci-fi movie. Whose idea was it to start this YouTube channel? That would be me. She did not think anybody would want to watch it. Nobody's her. gonna watch this. But if you really want to, I guess we'll do it. <laughs> Sorry, can you tell me more about what it is like to give birth twice? I had C-sections both times, so... They just cut her open. Pull they just them out. give you an injection in your spinal cord and you go numb and then they cut you right open pull that sucker out sew you back up somebody's asked about the cowboy hat phones send you home yeah there's holes in the hats we, we, if you rewind a little bit you'll see me going over them what's your favorite popcorn we actually eat a lot of kirkland brand the costco the costco brand costco popcorn, brand popcorn is really it's good. really good costco brand microwave popcorn pretty tasty can't get tired of it did you see Green Mile? It's on our it's on our channel. Like a month ago we released it. Love y'all's channel. Pearl Snap shirt needs to be tucked in. <laughs> Pentatonics or Home Free? I don't know Home Free. Pentatonics the the band? Or the the group? I like Acapella. Yeah, there's a C-section scene in uh, Prometheus, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> pretty close. Favorite movie we wa we've watched so far? Of all the movies we've reacted to, which one did you enjoy the most? There's so many, I'm having a hard time... Yeah, we've done like 60 movies at this point. I really love The Green Mile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a good, good old story. Feel good, but sad at the same time. Canadian Bacon? Of the, Are we fans of the Canadian Bacon Kevin Bacon? What the hell does that mean? Canadian Bacon the movie with John Candy? <laughs> I think Kevin Bacon's in that. I don't think so either. Favorite comedian? Chris Farley? Well, the Cowboys make the playoffs this year. Um, have you seen the state of the NFC East? Giants aren't making it. Eagles, I don't know. We watched the entirety of Twin Peaks. Yes, all, all of the. Did the we football watch the team? movie? Uh, can't remember. What? Do we watch yeah. Twin Peaks the movie? Yeah. While we're fire. Or... Kevin Bacon is Canadian. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh yeah, maybe he is. He might be. Philadelphia. See, he's not Canadian. See, I gotta go with my gut, dang it. Shawshank we reacted to a couple months back, so go go watch our videos. Uh Shawshank is on there. Yep. Uh Green Mile hit the heartstrings the hardest so far 
That and Rita's death. Scariest movie so far is The Descent or Event Horizon. Alien or Predator. I think Alien's the better franchise. Mm, I don't know. They're really good. We do not live in the South. We are not Southern. You can be a cowboy in the northern part of the country as well. Mm. Philadelphia is now a Canadian city. <laughs> oh, okay. Earth Girls Are Easy is a great movie. Have you seen that? Jim Carrey and Jeff Goldblum? They're aliens? Mm -mm. You haven't? Gina Davis is in it? You've never seen Earth Girls Are Easy? I don't think so. That's a comedy. We're going to have to throw on the list. Do we react to sports movies? We will at some point. I can't remember what. Is it Damon Wayans in that one? There's so many Wayne brothers, I get them all mixed up. We've seen Blade Runner. It's awesome. Is it Blade Runner that we've seen? Yeah, we've seen Blade Runner and 2049. Thank you. There's cowboys everywhere. We have not watched The Mist yet. I mean, shit, haven't you seen Yellowstone? They're in Montana. Not Texas. I feel like I dripped something, but I don't know where it went. It was a chip. I think it'll be fine. I'll get it later. Popcorn. Whatever. Mm. Mac and me? Yeah, there's cowboys in Canada. Hmm? Gina Davis? Isn't, no, she's not in the descent. She's in Earth Girls Are Easy. Easy. Who's a better cook? She is. Nope. Oh, lost it. I'm the only cook. He does not cook at all. It's really annoying. <laughs> That's a lie. He cooked for me one time when we were dating, and he made me macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Was it good? He tried to, like, zhuzh it up. He put, like, powdered Parmesan cheese in it. Was it good? It was edible. <laughs> it was fine. That's not answering my question. It was edible? So it wasn't bad. I thought it was good. Ghostbusters. Hell yeah, Ghostbusters is his favorite. Train spotting? Don't know that one. Which one's better, Descent or The Exorcist? I don't know. That's disturbing. Scary. The Descent was scarier for me. Exorcist was more disturbing. So. I would say Ghostbusters is my favorite New York based movie. Speed and The Lake House. Yes, I love both of those movies. Lake House is so good. She hit a girl up at lemon pepper and mac and cheese once. Didn't work out. <laughs> That's the weird. mac and cheese didn't, or she didn't because of that. We have not reacted to uh, Afterlife trailers, no. Have you seen the new Ghostbuster trailers? It looks pretty good. Uh, the one with the kids? Yeah, the one kids from Stranger Things. We saw the, like, the short, short trailer, not, I think. Paul Rudd's in it. We are going to watch Harry Potter at some point. Mm -hmm. Now, franchise are on our list. I have not seen those. I've seen most of the first, I think. And I've seen all of the last in the theaters in part London. Part one or two? I think part two. Yeah, a lot of losses inspired by Twin Peaks, yeah. Hitcher. Porkies. I love Porkies. This is a classic. You mean a cook-off? She'd win. Favorite Power Ranger. The green one. Mm -hmm. Tommy. Paul Rudd's in Descent Part 2. <laughs> I've actually... I've already seen Dead Poets Society, Steve. How 
How long can I survive off ramen noodles and still be healthy? At least five years of college. For sure. Four if you're really good. Mm. And going to class. That's what I'm saying. If you get oh. through college in four years. I couldn't. Took me four and a half. It took me longer than that. The pink ranger has nice buttocks in the spandex. I actually love Top Ramen a lot, you guys. She eats a lot. I do eat it quite frequently. But I like to, like, mix it up. I'll add... Try to turn it into, like, adult Top Ramen. So I add green onions and cilantro and sometimes mushrooms. Hey, Levi. And then if I want to add protein to it, I'll add just a, a scrambled egg. So then it's, like, egg flour soup meets Top Ramen. It's all good. I respected her intelligence and her booty. <laughs> the pink the pink Power Ranger. I remember in high school, I watched a movie, and it was about, we watched it in track, I think, because it was about Prefontaine, the Oregon track runner that kind of started Nike or something like that. Mm-hmm. And she's in that movie, the Pink Ranger. Oh, yeah? And I think there's a sex scene in it. But it's like a PG-13 sex scene, but it was still, oh. it was pretty, pretty sexy. It was pretty hot. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's the Pink Ranger. At least maybe the version we watched was PG-13. Cleon, you're right. That brand of Top Ramen is the best brand. Maruchan or whatever it is. Chicken. The best Top Ramen brand you can buy, I think. Which is the worst e European getaway? Midsummer or Hostel? I've seen Hostel. I haven't seen Mid Midsummer. Is it Midsummer or Midsummer or something like that? That's on our list. That and uh, Hereditary is a lot of requests because it's a recent great horror film. Where do you get all the broken chips? This is the bottom of the bag. Sorry. <laughs> Ron sucks. I don't get what he brings to the party except fart faces. <laughs> Which found footage horror is the best? Um, Blair Witch impressed you. That was pretty good. How long is your list? really long we got years years of content hopefully people want to keep watching us for that yeah one. hopefully you guys want to hang out with us for a couple years greatest basketball player of all time larry bird magic johnson actually it's michael jordan but <clears throat> michael jordan michael jordan other than michael I'd go with Magic or Kobe. Bird's in the top five, too. Bird could just make these passes, no look, behind the back. He was pretty fly for a white guy, is what I'm trying to say. And if you want a good team player, John Stockton. Yeah. We watched the Tom and Jerry movie not too long ago with our girls. It was pretty good. Favorite twist ending in a movie? Friday the 13th. It's not really a twist, but it is if you think it's about Jason. Right. I mean, the others had a twist. What's the most recent movie you watched before recording the first movie reaction video? Hmm? What did we watch just before we started doing reactions? We've watched so many movies since then, I can't remember. I mean, like, Gremlins would be, like, the last movie I feel like we watched that we should have reacted to. Could be. Which Freddy is my favorite so far? I hate all of them. I don't like Freddy at all. <laughs> 
You liked fours because of the music, though. I didn't like him, though. Fine. Oh, I thought he was acting, asking about the specific Freddy character. What, the Freddy. Ju which? If you're asking just about the movie, which uh, which Freddy movie is my favorite so far? Four. Four. You like uh, Dream Master more than Dream Warriors? No, I hate them all, but put the music in it kind of saves it. Here, I'll trade you. I'm done with this. Alice is a great character, though. She's. Four and five. Mm -hmm. We haven't, Steve, but we've both seen it many times. Mad Max. Rodman was great. He was great at rebounding and defense. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're talking defense, Rodman is, pro is probably the best. One of the best defenders of all time. Did you ever consider the military? I once did, yeah. I almost joined the Marines. Senior high school. I thought about it also. I, um, I've actually thought about it more recently. Before you met me? Or after, after you met me? After, after. Not, not like, I've just... I've had the opportunity in the last year or so to work with some National Guard... National Guardsmen. And I just, uh... I don't know, I feel like I probably would have fit in pretty well. I think the best players in NBA history probably played in the 90s. Bird, Magic, Jordan, Stockton. Yeah. I feel like that any, might be showing our age, though, huh? Any player from today played back then, though, I don't... I don't think they could... Don't know if it's comparable. It's different, I don't know. I feel like Kobe was the last player that was old school, but could still ball in new school. <laughs> Cleon. <laughs> He's just trying to get me to watch Descent Part 2. Bird did play most in the 80s, yeah. Yeah, it's mostly a shooting league now, not drive to the basket and fight the boards. I think 90s NFL was probably the best, too. Maybe it was just because that's when I grew up. Yeah. But, I mean, I've been watching football it. since then. Mm hmm One hour photo? I don't think I've seen that one hour photo. My Twitch name was The Rabble Wrangler. The R A B B L E Wrangler. W R A N G L E R. He hasn't streamed in a while, though. Yeah, I kind of quit that to do this. You're welcome. <laughs> Emmett Smith is his favorite cowboy. Who's yours? All time favorite cowboy, Emmett Smith. Smith. Those Reese's? Yeah. <laughs> Insomnia with Robin Williams as the serial killer? Insomnia is good. Uh, one hour photo. One hour photo with Robin Williams. Those were his scary movies. I like to kill a mockingbird, seen it. Um read the book, watched the movie in high school. Duncan was good too. Duncan was another player like Kobe that played in the nineties, but also I mean Kobe was late nineties, right? Yeah. Lucky like, like ninety eight, ninety nine. Or like very beginning of two thousands. Have we ever seen any of the Alien franchise, Alexander? That's how we started our channel. <laughs> where have you been? We started our channel watching Alien. Yeah, go watch the reactions. They're pretty good. They're a little different than our reactions these days. It was my first. It was my first try, so I think I got better at I was getting better at first it. try editing, too. So this was before we had all our cameras, too. Do you like Tony Romo? Did you like Tony Romo? I did. I hated Tony Romo as a player. I love him as an announcer, though. I think he's, he's fantastic the as a commentator. Yep. So, Tony Romo is a win for me now, but not then. <laughs> I 
Well, we just watched, we released today on YouTube, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. She's seen Django Unchained, and we also recently watched uh, Pulp Fiction, which will be coming out in a couple weeks on YouTube. I think next Monday on Patreon. She disliked Aliens, though, Joseph, but she will watch it again. Bye, Fadeless. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. I feel like if she watched Aliens today after watching all the scary movies we watched, since you've got that scary movie callus, you'd probably enjoy Aliens more. Mm -hmm. With two young girls, how do we have time to watch anything? They're in bed. We watch after they go to bed. We watch We watch them for two, three hours and go to bed. They're very good at going to sleep when we put them to bed, so for the most part. We got, yeah, we've got good sleepers. Tony Robots is better. <laughs> what, the rib place? The restaurant, yeah. Will we do all the Tarantino movies? I mean, that's a... Uh, I mean, he's only got nine movies. But I'm pretty sure we'll probably get to all of them. Someday. David, how'd you like it? How was Watchmen? Was it good? Just finished the full watch along of the Watchmen. Did you like it, David? Have I seen The Great Escape? Ask him because I'm not sure if you get recognized as spoof on it. Oh. Uh, I don't... Oh, that was the film that they put um, Leo in. With That was actually... Uh, oh, the Hitler uh, one? The German one, yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I've seen it. That was, supposed to, that was actually Steve McQueen in it. We got some Steve McQueen to watch. We got we should watch probably The Great Escape and Silver Bullet. Right, Steve McQueen's the Silver Bullet, right? Have we seen Coraline? I have not. Have you seen Coraline? Uh -uh. <laughs> we've seen No Country for Old Men. And we've seen The Prestige. Why do I think Steve McQueen and Silver Bullet? What am I thinking? The Matrix is coming soon. It's coming soon. Why am I thinking Steve McQueen and Silver Bullet? Okay. Fun watch long for The Watchmen. The actual movie I'm lukewarm on. Love the visual style, though. Oh, good. Okay, well. Bullet! That's what it is. Not Silver Bullet. Bullet. Ugh. <laughs> got the two mixed up. Bullet. Hey, Carp Six is the, is the one that got your necklace. Well, that's the, of course. Looks beautiful. See you, Carb. Thanks so much, Carp Six. Appreciate it. Oh, there's a movie we watched recently. We watched the new Bill and Ted. I don't think she's seen the original too, though. It's kind of weird. I've seen the first one, I think. Not the second one. I don't think I've seen the second one. The second one's my favorite. Uh, never heard of Theo Vaughn, the comedian. Nope. Sorry, John. Seen The Magnificent Seven. Yep. And Edge of Tomorrow. Love that one. Care for any Western movie suggestions? Yeah. Classics? Sure. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Fried Green Tomatoes is so good. I love that movie. Outlaw Josie Wales, yeah. Gotta love Clint Eastwood. Who's your favorite Scream Queen? I mean, I was... can anybody beat Patricia Arquette's Scream? From Nightmare, from Nightmare, Nightmare 3? 3? Like, is that even beatable? That's probably the best one you've heard so far. Yeah. <clears throat> But we haven't watched Halloween yet, so. Is what you watch movies in, like, a walk-in closet or his man cave? It's actually a really small bedroom. We live in a really old farmhouse. Um, used to be my dad's bedroom when he was a kid. So, yeah, if it's like the size of a walk-in closet, I would say. It holds a queen-size bed. Well, there is That's about it. Um, but, yeah, we've turned it into his office and uh it gets the job done it's a little tight squeeze every once in a while but it's not bad 
She has not seen Trout's boy. Wild Bunch. Jamie Lee Curtis is your favorite screen queen. Well, I haven't seen Halloween yet, so we'll get there soon, though. We'll she might, she might soon be my favorite too. I'm not sure. Invasion of the Body Snatchers on our list. Um, Sleepaway Camp is on our list. Fistful of Dollars, seen it. Towering Inferno would be fun. You haven't seen that, Stephen Queen. Favorite masked killer? I only know one. So, Jason. I've seen the uh, reboot. It was awesome. I used to watch that all the time when I was a little. Can we get a house younger. tour? No, because our, our house is a mess. Our house is trash because we've got two kids and uh, our cameras the, are attached. The, yeah, the cameras are attached to the computer, so <laughs> we have to like record it on our phones or something. You can't see glimpses of it on his Twitch streams, though, if you watch old videos on demand, right? Mm -hmm. The His intro to his Twitch stream Let's have some has, walk, some clip, has some clips of our house and, and, the, um, and the ranch that we live on. Have you ever rode a bull? Nope. Well, a mechanical one, but that doesn't count. District 9's on our list. She hasn't seen it. Will we decorate for Halloween? Probably not. We don't really get trick-or-treaters. Yeah, no. We live in the boondocks. We Our only neighbors are our family. The so. trick-or-treaters we get are our niece and nephew. Right. Yo, what are we talking about? <laughs> what? Which, in, which invasion ver invasion of body snatches? Which version is better? I would say the original, but the remake is actually pretty good. I think Nicole Kidman's in that. Favorite quarterbacks? Roger Staubach. Staubach, yeah. Um, Joe Montana is pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. Like, recent quarterbacks? You like, like Mahomes. You got a Mahomes shirt. I love Patrick Mahomes, yep. He's my fantasy football I love Dak. I'm a Dak. I like Dak, too. Dak's fan. Dak's just an awesome guy. <clears throat> love cheering for him. He's got a great story. Philip Rivers. Doggone it. <laughs> What's my Twitch handle? The Rabble Wrangler. I haven't streamed on there in like eight months. It's though. been a long time. It's been like eight months. Do you guys keep horses? We do not have horses right now. Uh, horses no are expensive. We have Norman and we have a Abraham and Buster. My niece and nephew do... 4-H FFA, so we've got some cows on the property. Yeah, we have a couple cows up in the field right now, too, right? Yep. Uh, a couple heifers. And um, Grazing. and some goats right now. My nephew's doing goats for the first time this year, so that's exciting. Thoughts on Stranger Things? Love it. Yeah. Love I, the 80s feel of it. It's one of the scary things that she actually watches willingly. I do watch it. Well... <sighs> He I, always is like, watch Stranger Things with me. I'm like, I will watch it when I feel like it. He tries to day, force it on me. In the day with the windows wide open, sun blaring in, so it, you can't really see what's going on in the dark screen. Yeah, it's hard to see. John Elway win his first one was a great Super Bowl. Especially when he goes all out. That whole season was great for John Elway. Jack Prescott's in the Descent Park too. Cleon. <laughs> oh gosh. I know Stranger Things season four is gonna be weird. Those kids are getting old. Like, how many? How they've got to pass the time a little bit, right? They have to, unless they already made it. Did they already make it. Oh I man, yeah, it comes Maybe out. Maybe they already this, filmed it. It comes out at the beginning of the year. They're already done filming, but still, they're all still like sixteen, seventeen now. I mean, what's her name was just in Kong vs. Godzilla. Or Godzilla vs. Kong, mm -hmm. right? She's playing a high schooler now. I'm not the biggest Green Bay fan, but I loved Brett Favre. He was such a great quarterback. Brett Favre? Mm-hmm. I liked him in uh, There's Something About Mary. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you guys do these unboxing videos every month? Yep. Yeah. Yep. We'll do one uh, one once a month. Our schedule right now is every third Saturday we plan on doing a live stream. So if you guys want to send the stuff to open on stream, you'll be yeah, until the third Saturday. Stranger Things 5 college. <laughs> <laughs> really strange things in college. Yes, we've seen all of the Indiana Jones. Such great movies. Love mm -hmm. them. You've seen Four Year Old Virgin, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Kelly, Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> if you could travel to anywhere, where would you go? Japan. I always wanted to go to Japan. Yeah. I'd go back to Germany. I've been to Germany once after college. Um, I loved it there. But it's actually a lot like, kind of reminds me of home, so. What's the longest movie you've reacted to? Probably The Return of the King. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. So long. Love it. Don't worry. Don't get me wrong. I like Lord of the Rings. It's just long. It's just very long. I don't know. Uh, um, Justice League was pretty long, too. Yeah. Yep. That one was very long. Cleon, you have been enjoyable this evening. Thank you so much for being here. You're in Germany. Germany's great. I love it there. Have we seen Office Space? Yes. Say something in German. I don't speak German. <laughs> I've yes. just visited. Dankeschön. Gesundheit. Du Have you guys seen Office Space? We have Baldi Locks. It's one of my favorites. Are you guys drinking tonight? See my stapler. Have you had a drink since my? Oh, haven't heard of had a drink since your double hernia. Ooh, that's tough. I think I'm done with both my. I got a little bit left of my cider. He's drinking. I'm drinking Diet Coke and water. But I stopped drinking Diet Coke so I can go to sleep. I need a water so I can be hydrated for the night. Is the full Justice League reaction on Patreon? It is not. Nope, not it probably yet. Probably won't be. I, it, I, it's not one of the things I. It's not high on his list of priorities. It wasn't very good. A very good reaction. Is that why? And we. It's four I, hours long. It's four hours long, and we took a lot of breaks. It's just it'd be a lot of work. We <laughs> I don't feel like we it, did take a lot of breaks. I don't we, feel like it's that great a reaction to put the work we, into it. We put watched it in two settings, two different sittings. So. And then breaks on the second. Yeah. yeah. Did we have kids interrupting that one or something? Mm. We had a lot of kids bothering us that that night so um office cheers i love cheers ted dancing's pretty funny lawrence of arabia the wild bunch is a western movie that makes spaghetti westerns look like a fairy tale also john wayne hated the movie because it destroyed the western fans because of the graphic violence Wow. American Psycho. We've that's we've watched it. Yeah, it's Check one of it our out. first reactions. It's actually a really good one too. I just rewatched it not too long ago, and it's actually pretty funny. Go watch it right now. It's awesome. We're not right. Not, not right we're now. Done. When this is over, go watch it. You'll lunch. love it. Other than popcorn for watching movies, what else is the go-to? That's a western I haven't seen. You should put on the list. I usually am snacking on Junior Mints or Chili Bits, or you have seen Infamous Twinkie. Well, these are perfect. That's not Chili Bits. Chili Bits are in the little bag over there. These are what she likes. These are nice because I don't have to chew them. I just pop them in and swallow them. Really? You don't chew them? Yeah. Ew. I'm a weirdo. I don't chew pretzels very frequently either. Is that weird? Chili bits. The little rice. You don't chew pretzels? Spicy rice crackers. I don't chew pretzels. No, I break them and I swallow them. Is that weird? It's kind of weird. Kung Fury? Bye, Michael. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out until one. Ah. You can watch your American Psycho video and react to your reaction. <laughs> yes, I've seen the Dirty Dozen. I love the Dirty Dozen. 
I watch it almost every year with my dad, actually. Have you ever been tased or pepper sprayed? Nope. Nope. You're at home. You can eat anything, even pizza. When you say a movie's on the list, how long is the list of movies to watch? And how many movies do make the list to vote on you two to watch? Chris, there's hundreds of movies on our list. Uh, when we do our monthly polls, depending on how many slots we have open for that month, we'll either do a move, uh, poll of 20 movies to pick three, or 10 movies to pick two. Or 20 movies to pick four. But we've been doing like three or two movies a month that are picked from our list. And then we've also been, since HBO Max has been awesome with having new releases, we've been watching a lot of new releases since we can't get to the theaters. And doing reactions from HBO Max movies. So like, Monday's movie will be Reminiscence, which is a new movie. So if you have HBO Max, make sure you watch that before Monday. It's really good. We liked it. Yeah. It's not really, really good. It's good. That's good. Easy neat. And if you're looking to join the Patreon to vote in polls, we usually do our polls the first weeks of the month. But uh, I, I we'll be throwing up a, a poll on Monday to help decide some stuff going forward. What's the name of the YouTuber who made the reaction compilation? Tony Loves Horror. Tony Loves Horror. Go check him out. He's uh, just getting things started, it seems like. He's already got six subscribers. We felt them. Awesome. Nine. He's up to nine. Ooh, all right. Tony loves horror. I'll post his duh. The compilation movie is pretty funny. There's his channel. Go visit his channel. Sub. 8 p.m. reservation at Dorcia. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got to return some videotapes. Yeah. <laughs> Probably won't be able she to make it. She has not seen out. American Psycho with Mila Kunis. We talked about watching it, but a lot of people said, no, nah, I need to watch it. Better movies to use your time with. She has not seen 8mm, but we actually had a request to talk about maybe requesting that. Animated shows. I don't know that any animated shows are really on our list right now, but... I, I watched all of the Batman anime series. I actually have the Blu-ray set for my daughter to watch. I don't know if you've ever watched it. I don't think the so. Classic Batman. That, that's actually... That's like Rebels good. Have you played The Last of Us? I think you have, yeah. But have you played The Last of Us? I have. It's a sad game. It's a sad game? Yeah. A zombie game, too. But, like, Batman the Anime Series is like Rebels good. It's like... It's good, good. That's where Harley Quinn was created in Batman the Anime Series. Gotcha. Stand By Me. We have not watched Stand By Me, so that's on the list. Yeah, Stand By Me is on the list. Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I was excited to see that the animated uh, Batman animated series box set came with the movies, too. So Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, and the other that weren't... The Mask of the Phantasm was in theaters. I remember going to it. But the other, like the Mr. Freeze movie and stuff, all the movies from that animated series line are in that box set as well. I didn't know that. I just bought the box set thing that was all the seasons of the TV. But I was happy to see the Mask of the Phantasm was in there too because that's a great movie. Nick says, boo, thanks for sharing your our videos with your friends. That's awesome. Batman is not in the descent. I thought it took place in a cave. Where wouldn't Batman be in it? We've seen There Will Be Blood. Mm -hmm. I drink a milkshake. You know the Red Dead series? Okay. We're getting a glitching. flicker, yeah. <clears throat> it's been doing that most of the I night. Know. Do you let your kids watch scary movies? I do not. I am not a supporter of that. He lets them watch things that I would not have let them watch. Like, I don't think Chuck would watch. She would watch. She wouldn't watch a scary movie. She's but like, they love stuff. Godzilla, which. If it's a Godzilla Seems movie, they'll like watch it. Kind of scary. Some of them are pretty scary. Some of them kind of scary. There's been some where she's like, I, I don't want to watch this anymore. It's too scary. Yeah. I knew it was worth subscribing when you posted Blue Velvet. <laughs> 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 I 
That was That's a, fan a movie that request. wasn't on our list. Yeah, that, that was, was a requested. fan request. Well, it was, uh, it was not that it wouldn't be on our list. It was just a movie that we never thought to put on the list. Right, right. That was a weird movie. We watched movie. the Butterfly Effect with... Uh, no. Ashton Kutcher? Ashton Kutcher. I've oh, never seen That'd it. Fun. Eli Roth Cabin Fever. That's a good one. Is that the one you made me watch? No. Oh. We started uh, Cabin in the Woods and she never finished it. I did not like it. He's like, it's not scary. You won't be scared. It's not scary at all. It's more of a comedy. Comedy, my ass. It is. Have we watched Shin Godzilla? Yes. yes. All the Godzillas. All of them. My thoughts on There Will Be Blood. Was that the one about the oil? Yeah, the oil. Yeah. Um... It was long, I great think. Great performance. It was a great performance. I think it was too long for me. There's a lot of Godzilla. Yeah. I don't lots know. I've and lots. seen them all multiple times. Repo Man. The old one or the new one? Isn't there There's a there's a, a uh, classic one, right? Repo Man is isn't that is it a it's a Korean or Japanese film? And then there's a Oh re, uh Emilio Estevez. That must be an older one. Oh, I'm seeing IP Man. Maybe there was a repo. I don't know. I thought there was just an old repo man. Yeah, I mean, West of Harry. It's more of a comedy. Accurate description. <laughs> Gojira. Red Red Dead Redemption Two should have won Game of the Year. I do think so. What won it that year? Like some stupid like Fortnite. It's interesting how popular Batman is with no powers. Awesome. That's what makes him so great. Just I've a regular dude. I have started Singular Point with our, with my daughter. We watched the first two episodes. She was like, "We just got. I gotta find time to sit down and watch them with her more." <clears throat> uh, we don't have names. That's the mystery of the channel. Yeah, we're Mister and Mrs. Movies, or you can call her Mrs. Gennaro, and I'm Roy. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> What was your first car? My first car was a hand-me-down Chevy Citation 2 from my great-grandma. I had a hand-me-down Chevy Silverado. It was my dad's old work truck. Silverado's I love that Silverado. Silverado's way cooler than oh. a Chevy Citation, let me tell you. It was blue with another blue stripe down the line. There's a 90. You know, those are the old 90s Silverados. My the Citation two-tone. had a bench seat. That sucker. And it, it went pretty fast, too. Like, it... Had some get up and go to it. Extended cab so my friends could sit in the back. I only had one rear, one mirror back when they made cars with just the one rear view mirror, not the other. <laughs> wow, it's, that's an old car. It's an old car. It's pretty cool. I'll call you Dave Rod. Um, it's Dave Rod. <laughs> How's Howdy? He's probably he's still passed out in the bed, probably. He left when he heard me go downstairs, but I don't know where, if he went back. I'll go look. Uh, Mrs. Movies, are you excited to start the Halloween franchise? I kind of am, just because everybody's so excited to watch, it, watch with it with us, so... Howdy's on the couch now. Just don't call me late for dinner. Howdy's funny, when I start editing our videos... God of War. And I, I start start editing the videos, and there's always the, Howdy, folks! He comes running in. <laughs> Year, hey, Dad, you said my name? What year was your Silverado? Is it a 90 or 91? Single cab, my friends can walk. <laughs> Mine was like a blue silver. Uh, no, we have not seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's on the list. I was pissed when I had to get rid of it. Wasn't my choice. Yeah, we've seen Tombstone. That is a great, great movie. The Fog has a similar atmosphere to Prince of Darkness. The Fog is on our list. We're gonna, we're gonna watch that probably pretty soon, right? That's the one that finishes up the. No. That's, oh, that's the Mist. The Mist. The Fog is John Carpenter. The Mist is Frank Darabont from. Get him Green wrong. Mile. Every time. I mean, the Mist. We'll the probably fog watch them both, there. though. Yeah. Favorite horror franchise. What's yours? Mine is Friday the 13th. Oh. 
Yeah, it was a 91. Looking at the old uh, difference between 90 and 91. Mine's definitely a 91. See if I can find it. The cowboy way. I don't think I've seen that. Bone Tomahawk, Kurt Russell. It sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen it. Who can sing karaoke better, and what's your go-to song? He has the voice, I do not. On my roof. I showed up in boots. Room your black top there. House of Wax. Last one, no. Last one, no. Okay, right, I'll stop singing. Never put that together. Sorry. Favorite nice. food. Favorite food, steak. I love a good old steak. Meet the Feeblies. Maybe it was a 92. I've seen more of the two tones of 92. I've yet to see. Saving Private Ryan. No, we have not seen it. Well, I have not seen it. He's seen it, obviously. Uh, we're going to watch that, too. Oh, this is kind of it. Oh, I, I saw it. LOL. Just Googled Chevy, Chevy Citation. Yeah. Chevy Citation 2. Like a Roman numeral two, Google that sucker. Mine, it, mine was like, like this, but it was an extended cat. Mine was like a nude color, like tan nude, really gross. But it was a classic car. It was like I remember driving it home from like a traveling basketball game one night, and it um. the defroster actually blew snow into the car, so it was actually snowing inside my car one night when I tried to drive home and my friends just left. Zombie beavers? Zombie beavers. Who had the mullet in high school, be honest? My friend Ryan. <laughs> he had a bowl cut. Favorite like guilty pleasure high. movie? City Slickers, love it. Legends of the Falls, pretty good. Favorite way to have your steak? Medium rare. Um, few good, few good men is a great movie. Yes, I played volleyball, basketball, and softball in high school. Um, point guard, libero, and. Third baseman, if that helps. How tall are you? I'm like 5'3", super short. How tall are you, hun? Tall enough. 5'6", or something? I'm not 5'6". <laughs> I'm 5'9 and 3 quarters. Whatever. 5'6". Oh no. <laughs> He's tall enough. Tall enough for me. I'm average male human height. <laughs> five six. I prefer Jason over Freddy for sure. <laughs> five three, and I play volleyball. Yes, a libero, which is back row only, not front row. Um, I was never good at the hitting part of it, but I had a wicked jump serve for a while. At least I thought I did. Five six without the boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, the boots made me five ten. Mrs. Movies is Hobbit height. <laughs> yeah, practically. Oh, this is close. This is a ninety four. Were you a traditional point guard? Yeah. The dribble and pass kind. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm not a good. I was shooting wasn't my favorite thing. I preferred to pass, and I was really good at defense. Defense was my strong suit. Uh, women's fast pitch softball is actually pretty awesome to watch. If you haven't watched it, you should try. It's good. They need smaller, quicker players to dig the ball out. Yes, exactly, exactly. I was. I'm very fast. I'm very speedy. Um, and I've got really great reflexes, so I was able to dig a lot of balls out, and that's why I was such a good third baseman, too, because in 
fast pitch softball third base is really close to the plate and balls come at you real fast. Jason X, the best Friday the 13th movie is coming. It's also the first Friday the 13th movie I ever saw in theaters in, so it's got a special place in my heart. I love it. I love Jason X. Fernando. That's what she said. Raid 1 and 2, best action movies you'll ever see. Never heard of them. Thank you for the contribution, Fernando. Can Mrs. Movies dunk? Uh, no. <laughs> Eight foot hoop, maybe. Not even. Tomb Raider. I love Laura Croft Tomb Raider stuff. I like that kind of action, though, right? Like, the history... The fun, weird history part of it. Have we seen Maze Runner? I think I read Maze Runner or I listened to the audiobook of Maze Runner. I don't think I've watched them. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen the movie, though. In high school gym, we played softball. I watched this girl catch a line drive right to the throat. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen that happen too. Not a line drive, but a foul ball tipped right into our, to the catcher's throat. Oh my god, it was the scariest thing. She. Could... I've also seen somebody, uh, our pitcher, get hit just fucking smack dab right here. The hardest ball I've ever seen hit in a softball before. Are we fans of Joe Bob Briggs? I am. I used to watch. I never seen Monster that. Vision all the time on TNT. I need to watch Shuttermore to see the last drive-in. But uh, we got her, her shirt to wear because I'm a big fan. She's never watched it. Um, and have you seen The Truman Show? Yes. I constantly quote The Truman Show. Usually like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? <laughs> it comes up a lot. Yeah. Usually my reaction when I see like a weird comment in one of our YouTube videos and it's like doesn't make any sense contextually to what they're actually watching of us. I'm like, what are you talking about? Who are you talking to? Fright Rags has some good uh, Joe Bob shirts if, you, if you're if you looking for a... Uh, they just came out with a new one and it's pretty awesome. It looks like an old Beatles shirt and it has all the movie monsters of the movies they watch on the last drive in there. It looks pretty cool. I actually picked that up. Yeah. Taking a hardball to the face is not fun. I I had my nose broken in high school because I took a I had a grounder that took a really weird hop and taking softballs to the face is pretty fun though. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> we did not see Cruella. No. I do like Emma Stone, though. I do like Emma Stone. <sighs> Big Trouble in Little China is coming soon. Coming soon. It's one of the requested this month, so we'll be getting to it. We'll be watching it, if not this weekend, next weekend. What's our down speed for Starlink? Are you happy with it so far? Um, yeah, I've been happy with it. I just gotta make it so that there's no... Uh, outages. I got I got to find a good spot for it. Haven't gotten to it yet, but it's work. Haven't found a good spot for it yet, but it's been working enough that when there is a little s small s outage, it's not too bad. We have not seen Tenet. Neither of us. We were actually thinking about doing a reaction for it. But I've been very happy with our Starlink. Um, great up and down speed. Up is. As fast as our LTE hotspot, and sometimes faster. Sometimes it takes the same amount of time it's taken me forever to upload with our LTE hotspot, and sometimes it's, it, there was like one video that I had to get out, and it took five minutes. So, uh, is it hot in this room tonight? No, not too bad. It's been a cooler day today. Yeah. It's only sixty-four outside, so. But yes, on days when it's hot, it is very hot in mm. this room. All the monitors and the computers. Yeah, and, stuff. and the lights. And... 
The lights are the... This, this thing is what... The cameras and this are what give off the most heat. Yeah. Monitors. And... Grant, thank you. Thanks for tuning in and watching our channel. The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Isn't it... Uh, Luma Thurman's in Oh, right? chicken wings. Flats or drums? I'm a flat. I love a flat. I like drums. It's perfect. Match made in heaven. She usually only makes flats, those. No, I make both. I'd give you all the drums that we make. Oh, okay. I always take the flats. I always give him the, the drum. Finally in the 60s in Minnesota. Yeah, I know. It's so nice once it finally cools down a little bit. How long have we been together? Seven married, married seven years. Married seven years. This, eight years. This coming November, yeah. Eight years in October, oh. together. Oh yeah, eight years together in in October. Chicken wings, bone in or boneless? Bone, bone in. in. I do like good chicken strip though. So. Bone in. Uh, did I have a birthday cake this year? I bought myself a birthday pie. Pie. Lemon meringue, so good. My mom usually buys me a lemon meringue pie on my birthday. How long does it take to edit a video? A day. <laughs> no children. A good work day. No children, no elephant books. We have two children. We have two, two children. I don't think we have any elephant books, though. Can you think of any? I don't think so. No elephant books. Fright Night is on our list. Tyson buffalo wings are your worst guilty pleasure. I have some of those in the freezer, actually. Flats smoked. Ooh, I don't know that I've had a smoked flat. Have we seen the Blade films? No, but we're going to. Yeah, Blade's on our, our We're going to watch all of those. Chicken wings is a personal meal. Oh, Babar meal. is a good elephant book. Yeah, that's right. Babar. Babar. Oh, Babar, yeah. I, we don't have that, though. Yeah, it's hard to eat chicken wings in a public setting, that's for sure. It's like a... It's almost like a sexual experience to watch somebody eat a chicken wing sometimes, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's weird. Sleepaway Camp. You said we're going to watch that in October? Mm -hmm. October, Sleepaway Camp. Do you, we like spicy food. I I like things with a little spice, but not a lot. I think I'm probably a chicken shit when it comes to eating spicy food, actually. I just like to enjoy the food. I don't want it to burn too bad. The little golden books, we have so many little golden books. We have like a whole Star Wars collection mm -hmm. of little golden books and a Ghostbusters collection. They make them really cool these days, way better than some of the old school ones. Uh, phallic. Same with ribs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Took the worst right out of my mouth. <sighs> Beef ribs or pork ribs? I'm a pork rib fan. Pork ribs. What about you? Beef ribs, pork ribs? Are you asleep? I'm reading. Oh. Pork ribs all the way. Um, I think we usually eat pork ribs, right? Yeah. The, our salty ribs are pork. Yeah. <clears throat> I only ever make pork ribs, so. If you've had beef ribs, it's been somewhere else. I mean, I've had beef rib, ribs at, like... Restaurants and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Binky Rourke was a great-looking guy. Was. He's still around. <laughs> yeah, he used to be good-looking. <laughs> Mars Attacks. Have you ever seen Mars Attacks? I don't know. Put that on the list. Natalie Portman's in it. It's about aliens. Hmm. Very campy. Baby Back or St. Louis style. Didn't Jack Nicholson play the uh, president in that? I like St. Louis style. They got more meat on them. They got that little extra chunk hanging off, you know? Thought you had goats. We do have goats. We don't eat them. We sell them for other people to eat them, though. Which conspiracy theories do you guys believe in? Um, yes, we do have Frank's hot sauce. Aliens are real. Truth is out there. Didn't Mickey Rourke get got in like a really bad car accident and had some like facial issues and then had 
bad plastic surgery to try and fix them, I think is what happened. This guy said a boxing career. Jinx just said boxing career. Oh, it could be. Went downhill after face surgery. More David Lynch. <laughs> we'll be getting to David Lynch for sure. The Wrestler is a great Mickey Rourke. He was great in that movie. I don't know if you've seen that. I haven't seen it was that. It a great performance. If you had to interview one serial killer, who would it be? You love serial killers. It's a tough one. I don't love serial killers. That's what you said. Um, Dexter? Ted Bundy? Ted Bundy? He's dead, so I don't ever have to, like, actually do that, but... Yeah, probably Bundy. Would you rather have a billion dollars to yourself or let everyone in the world have average amount of money? I don't know. A billion dollars to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you crumple or fold your toilet paper? I crumple. He folds. You crumple? I crumple. You're fucking weird. <laughs> Will you do the Ted Bundy movie? No, but I've already seen them all. That's why. A uh, feminist Ted Bundy, really? Would you rather eat a bowl full of crickets or a bowl full of worms? Crickets. Bernie's peppercorn sauce or garlic butter on your steak? Which do you prefer? I prefer my steak with nothing on it. If the meat is good, doesn't need anything else on it. What's toilet paper? Will you guys watch Chucky? I someday. We'll definitely be getting a Chucky. I wish we were, like, further into our channel so we'd be already done with Child's Play so we could watch a Chucky. Crumplers are psychopaths. <laughs> okay. Let's hope she does not put the roll of toilet paper the wrong way. <laughs> Putting anything on a good steak is a crime. I completely agree. Steak speaks for itself, right? The meat can speak for itself. We have homegrown meat here, so if you... I, we, we went to a restaurant last weekend. Yeah. And I had a steak. And I was like, the steaks we have at home are better than this. Yeah, it's true. The homegrown beef is just so much better than store-bought. Who would win, grizzly or a shark? Well, a grizzly in the water or a shark in, on land? That's a better <laughs> question, right? I, think, I think a grizzly would. I think a grizzly on land for sure. Grizzly in shallow water? I think a grizzly would. Yeah, but a grizzly in like deep water? <laughs> you got a grizzly. Can they swim? It's all about context. Steak with salt and pepper is good. When it's, like, it's like home field advantage. Thrilled. Of course, in the home field advantage, the animal is going to win. Sauce should be banned. Steak with a good jus is okay. I'll agree with that. I like a good jus. Jus is jus? A jus. Um, whatever. Why do you prefer Jason to Freddy? She likes the strong, strong, quiet type. Freddy is a You don't like the thing he does with creep. his tongue. I don't like anything that he does with his person. I think... <laughs> Ugh. Um, Carne asada is... I love... Ugh. Homegrown eggs, so good. Rare for me. I don't like a well-done steak. We have a great rest Mexican restaurant around here. And I always get carne asada there. And I just eat... They give you tortillas and stuff to put, like, the carne asada. No, I just cut that carne asada and I eat it. It's so good. What to eat with steak? Mashed potatoes or fries? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. I do like good steak fries, though. Lake Placid versus Anaconda. <laughs> She's got to watch Lake Placid first and Anaconda. Not a good Jew. A good Jew. Like, a Jew. A Jew. <laughs> French. Right? 
Sure. Ew, my friend smothers his steak in ketchup. He is a monster. Absolutely. That person's a psychopath. Wow. Freddy's sweater oh. choice is great, though. If you could have dinner with anyone from history, who would it be? Hmm. Do I like bourbon and or beer? I don't know that I've ever had bourbon. So whiskey? Like what kind of bourbon? Yeah. Bourbon's a type of whiskey. I really don't drink a lot. I drink, I just don't drink a lot. Um think do you guys think you need a catchphrase like that's gotta hurt or ouchie papa <laughs> we got super <laughs> she's been saying that's not ideal a lot too lately that's not ideal <laughs> jeremy glad to catch you live always happy with your reaction videos show up on my feed have to go to bed catch everyone later thank you so much jeremy for Thanks, tuning jeremy. in and hanging out and and for the contributions, great to have you with us tonight. Have a good night. Who, we have a catchphrase. We have howdy, folks. Right. That's a catchphrase. Yeah. Until next time. I mean, those are like common phrases. Though. I eat ketchup with pizza. Ew. <laughs> I hate ketchup. Ketchup is my least favorite condiment. Sausage. Ugh. Favorite pet pizza type. Sausage. Sausage. Mine's mushrooms. I mean, if you had to pick one topping that's your favorite, is it mushrooms? Mushrooms. Okay. I mean, I like mushrooms too. I like mushrooms, olives, sausage, and pepperoni all together. Eat what you want. Put rhubarb on pizza if you dig it. Fair enough. Do not have a cash app. But don't put ketchup on your pizza. That's weird. <laughs> Just kidding. Put whatever you want on your pizza. Uh, what's the one food you could never bring yourself to eat? I don't know. I feel like I'd try anything once. Rocky Mountain Oysters? Oh yeah, for sure. I think I maybe had Rocky Mountain Oysters. Human brain? No, okay. Uh, hum <laughs> humans excluded. I put garlic butter on pizza. That's not bad. That's your favorite thing for pizza is garlic butter. Favorite Pixar movie? Toy Story. No. You don't like Toy Story? I'm losing my faith in humanity reading what people use ketchup on. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even touch the bottle of ketchup. Oh, yes, I'm like the she exact like same ketchup. way. I hate ketchup. Bull. You're in high school. A lot of kids would mix ranch dressing with ketchup and dip their pizza in it. That doesn't sound too bad. It sounds like fry sauce. Ranch and ketchup. Ranch up. Oh, ranch and ketchup? Ranch up! Mm. I don't like anything with ketchup. Mayo on fries? Ooh. Favorite Pixar movie? I don't think I feel like I can place which ones are Pixar movies right now. Toy Story? Cars? I like Cars. Wally? -E. I don't like Wally. -E. Bugs Life? Toy Story. So I don't really like Toy Story that much. What? Chopped dill pickle and green olives on pizza? I could get behind that, Jason. Favorite DiCaprio movie? Titanic. Duh. <laughs> Favorite Keaton movie? So did I see that somewhere? Multiplicity. Multiplicity. Yeah, obviously. Steve. I, I like pizza, Steve. Yeah, Jason's just better than Freddy. Oh, The Incredibles, Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is good. I probably like Finding Nemo the most. I like A Bug's Life. I'm sure there's one that I like more. Yeah, uh, Depart is on our channel. Is Monsters, Inc. a Pixar movie? Yeah, Monsters, Inc. I like Mac Monsters, Inc. Nazi or a rapist for the villain? Am I trying to hate the villain more, or... 
What kind of question? I don't know. They're both really Combine shitty. them. Yeah. There you go. Vanilla ice cream with hard shell chocolate syrup and potato chips. Mine is french fries and a chocolate frosty, right? Vanilla ice or MC Hammer? Vanilla ice just has that one song, <laughs> yeah. right? MC Hammer. Can't touch this. Mm -hmm. Definitely MC Hammer. Mm. Word to your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Hereditary? Nope. It's on our list. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. Oh yeah. We made our girls watch those the just a few months back. They always like the first one better, even though the second one's more kid friendly. They like the first one better. They stopped watching the third one halfway through. They yeah. got bored. <clears throat> Not seen the Revenant. It's the bear movie. Yeah, I know which one it is. I've just never seen it. What were you one when Vanilla Ice was big? Oh. Yeah, I mean I was littler. Well, he's got two hit songs. He's got Ice Ice Baby, and he's got Go Ninja Go Ninja Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you name one NBA player for you, John Stockton? Did you? Oh, mine's Larry Bird. Uh, did, I should have analyzed that in a movie. Did you eat anything weird when you were pregnant? Um, peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. I was kind of into, but that's not that weird, is it? We will not be doing Freddy's Nightmares, the TV show, no. Jason, oh my gosh, two forty-three a.m. and you're still hanging out? Crazy. We're going to wrap it up soon for you, Jason, so you can go to bed. Are we dating? We're married. Oh, you put on the actual ring tonight. Ooh. I put on the engagement and wedding ring combo tonight. I usually just wear my wedding band. Disgusting. I want to get with this beautiful girl, but she probably hates me. Just be yourself. Yeah. If she's into you, she'll be into you. If she hates you, then you probably shouldn't be into her. Glad you're enjoying, Pops. Kiss each other to prove you're married. Uh, is that against TOS? <laughs> We've kissed each other in some of our reactions. Right? Oh, only a cheeker. Oh. It just feels so personal when they ask you to do it, you know. Uh, worst movie you've ever watched? The Room? Oh, I've seen worse movies than The Room. I mean, we watched Leprechaun. Was that worse than The Room? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Leprechaun is really bad. How did a guy like you get a woman like her? I mean, damn. You hot. He's hot? I'm hot. How did you get me? No idea. Luck. Pretty much. Cake or pie? I like cake, but I like pie. I like them both. Depends on the mood. Mm -hmm. I like them Give both. Give a good uh, confetti cake. Mm. <laughs> yes, he does like confetti cake. Confetti cake. Vanilla frosting. Oh. Mystery Science Theater had some of the worst. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Puma Man. Oh, Puma Man. <laughs> Stop you maiming. Favorite genre of movie? Mine's comedy. What's your favorite genre? I like sci-fi the most, I think. Sling Blade. Seen it. Saw it in high school with an ex-boyfriend. With it's Justin. It's a, a weird movie. <laughs> you guys dated? For like a week. <laughs> And then we realized, oh, just because we're really good friends doesn't mean we have to date. Because that's weird. Any tips on picking a cowboy hat? Well, make sure it fits. I prefer, uh, I got resistals. 
I also have, I mean, that's a... Okay. Stetson. Stetson. Well, I, don't know. I am brain farting a lot tonight. Yeah, you are. I must be tired. I've been editing the Watchmen all the last two days. Is it that amazing hat that got me? No, but it but it definitely is helping. It's keeping her. We have seen Blaze the Saddles, yes. Which one's better? Hot Shots or Hot Shots Part 2? <laughs> I heard that he offered her a greasy strangler in <laughs> <and> her heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Jason. Oh, jeez. It's her favorite. Well, creator of Mystery Science Theaters from your hometown. That's awesome. I actually just back to the latest season. We've definitely seen Blazing Saddles. So funny. It's the jorts. Did you ever go poop in your pants as a child? Once or twice. Probably. Already seen Tommy Boy? Yeah, one of my all-time favorite movies, Tommy Boy. I love it. it makes me laugh Piece so of Yucca Flats. No, Piece of Yucca Flats isn't that bad. There's some good monster effects in that. Alien versus Predator. What's the opinion? You liked it. Aliens versus Predator. I liked it. The first one, not uh, the second. Yeah, I didn't like the second one as much. First one was cool because it was like mythology, sort of. Kind of enjoyed that. Um, fire in the sky. Iron, Iron Giant. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. It's going too fast. Can't keep up. We've seen Arrival, yes. A good one. <laughs> Mrs. Arnold or Sil Sylvester? I've seen more Arnold movies, so I'm going to go with Arnold. We'll be watching The Crow. Brandon Lee. Any Mel Gibson movies on the horizon? Yes. Not sure when, though, but definitely. We have seen Breaking Bad. Yep. Anything crazy happened in your life since last live stream? Just our our new uh, logos and stuff. Yeah, just our new merch. New which, merch and art. If you scroll down a little bit on the page, you'll see it. I just looked at it to make sure it was working on our, our videos. You'll see our two little logos that we got. Super! These are fun. Thanks to Shane for making this. And then Darko made a little cartoon version of both of us. Worst food I've ever tried. Vegemite. That is gross. We have not watched John Wick. We plan on watching the trilogy at some point. Sylvester or Tweety? Tweety. I'm a Tweety Bird fan. What do you guys work with? I'm a Roadrunner fan. What do you guys work with? Uh, I use Adobe Premiere, if that's what you're asking. How old no, are it's you? No, it's a Lasso. Movies? We're in our 30s. 30s. Mid-30s. Are these fridge magnets? Yeah, from our viewers. They sent us these fridge yeah, magnets. you guys want to send us Arizona a state. Arizona and one from Florida. Or a country. Our mailing address is down below. We've been jammed! Have you seen Spaceballs? Have I seen Spaceballs? <laughs> oh, I see your Swartz is as big as mine. That is not a whip, that's a lasso. Favorite X-Files episode? I would go on Fear Factor, yeah. Favorite episode of the X-Files? I love the Cops episode. You only really watch the mythology episodes. You watch, I mean... Also, like, from the first couple seasons, the Worm episode... In the sewer. That was a good one. Uh, if you had a time machine, what period would you travel to? Um, 80s. The 50s. Like the, back, the future goes back to the 50s? Sure. 55. 1955. I meant the merch. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Delude Bozeman's a uh, nice place to visit. We don't have magnets at the on the merch store. It's not a especially if we want to go down to Yellowstone from there. 
the magnet wasn't a merch option for Teespring, so we don't have those yet. But I like the idea. I only said Arnold because I've seen more of his movies. I haven't seen a lot of Sylvester movies. I do love him in most of the things that I've seen him in, though. Escape Plan. Escape Plan. He played King Shark. Oh, yeah, in uh, Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Favorite movie of all time, Back to the Future. I don't know if he played King Shark. I think he just voiced him. I'm pretty sure... Uh, yeah, obviously. Um, James Bill Gunn's brother probably played the mocap. Billy Madison fans, of course. Last Action Hero is a great movie. Pee in your pants is cool. list. Consider me Miles Davis. Favorite 80s horror. Yeah, the 50s would be cool. It'd just be a cool time to go back to. And so many, like, big things happened in the 50s. I don't know. I just think it's cool. What you doing down there? Sitting in the corner. Ah. You hated the Suicide Squad? Yeah. You saw Back to the Future in the drive-in when you were a kid? That's awesome. I can imagine that would be pretty sweet. Favorite actor? Lawrence Fishburne? No. Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne! Larry Fishburne. Um, it's a tough one these days. Lovecraft? It's Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft? Don't know what that is. We'll watch some Lovecraftian horror here pretty soon. Um, I, I like Bill Murray. I think I've seen American Graffiti. George Lucas's first film. American Graffiti. Or second film. It's got the um, the Happy Days guy in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some Ford in it too, huh? Keanu Reeves, meow. <laughs> Cleon's killing me tonight. Ron, Ron Howard, Howard yeah. thank you. Gosh. Mel Gibson or Adam Sandler? Adam Sandler? He makes me laugh more. <laughs> Point Break. I've not seen Point Break. It's on our list. She's not seen First Blood either. It's on our list. You've seen Willow? Val Kilmer and uh, forget plays Leprechaun. I have seen What Women Want. That's one of my favorite Mel Gibson movies, I guess. I though I do like <laughs> Lethal Weapon. So. American History X. I don't know. Will we review that one? Probably. Sure. Ward Davis, yeah, Ward Davis. I do love The Patriot. That's a great movie. That's good. Ghost? No, we haven't reacted to Ghost, but I've seen it. I like Patrick Swayze a lot. Oh, I used to listen to Adam Sandler's They're All Gonna Laugh at Me and, uh, He had those two albums in the mid '90s that I used to listen to him all the time. The longest P, yeah. hilarious. Walking <laughs> Phoenix, her that movie, her as maybe my favorite Walking Phoenix movie. That's an awesome movie. Roadhouse. Oh, and what the hell happened to me? I used to listen to what the hell happened to me, and they're all gonna laugh at you over and over again. Seen Roadhouse, yep. Patrick Swayze fan, of course. Um, the Outsiders. Probably watched that. I've never seen it. 
Frailty. Nope, never seen frailty. Pot legal. I don't know. Would you rather shoot spaghetti out of your fingers or sneeze meatballs? Spaghetti. I'd rather sneeze meatballs. I don't like spaghetti. I like meatballs though. You want meatballs coming out of your nose? I'd rather have that than spaghetti out of my flipping fingers. I don't sneeze that often, but I use my fingers all the flipping time. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't imagine a meatball coming out of my nose. That would be painful. Had a medium face. Basketball's funny. I like that one. All right. Well. Uh, I'd rather have super cold weather than super hot. Me too. You can wear more clothes. You can only take so much clothes off before yeah. people look at you weird. Spaghetti finger sounds like a sad super villain. Weekend at Bernie's. Crazy. Spaghetti fingers. <laughs> control time or control weather? Time. time. Black Sheep, I love that Chris Farley movie. So great. I'm Australian. What are clothes? It's not Bug Pillar. Oh. Need a je denim jacket? Like a cutoff, right? Short sleeve denim jacket? Mellow yellow or Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew. For sure. Uh, Mountain Dew's had some great summer flavors this year, too. They're Baja Punches. Or, oh, there's a pineapple one. To die for. Oh, it's so good. Not seen Jojo Rabbit. I, ha I do think Cheech and Chong are funny. Coldplay? The band? Sure. Fifty First Dates is a good movie. That is a good one. Adam Sandler. Drew Barrymore. Gotta love it. Alright, you guys. It's time to wrap this up. It's midnight. Almost midnight. Time to say goodbye. A minute till. This has been a blast again. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with us tonight. Mm -hmm. Next time, we're hoping to do some more unboxing, obviously. We've also got some game game ideas that we're going to maybe mm -hmm. try to do some next time. Yeah, we were talking about, we got this card game called Pitch Storm. It's pretty fun. Um, one card is the plot of a movie. Second card is a character for that movie. Character and plots, and then there's also like idea notes, ideas from the producers to try and prove them or make the movie worse. It's fun. We're trying to think of a way to in integrate it into chats, maybe super chats. We're gonna Stuff try like and that. wing that one next time. So tune in yep. next month for our next live stream. It's gonna be awesome. We're excited. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. And thank you for helping me celebrate my birthday. This is a great night. Really appreciate it. Yeah. That's it. What do you think, babe? Until next time. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.